Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> so I am back with another little pick a card reading for you. Today we are going to be focusing on what makes you so irresistible. So this could be to a specific person. This could be to multiple people. I'm just going to kind of let whatever energy wants to come through, come through and gas you up a little bit. So <laughs> I hope that's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so today we've got three piles to choose from as usual. Um, so we're starting off with this beautiful little piece of smoky quartz for pile one. And if you choose with tarot, we are going to be using the mystic mondays tarot here and actually i always like to show the artwork so the artwork on this deck looks like this and it is the two of wands in reverse coming out for you so that could be significant for someone we also have uh for pile two this little piece of raw rose quartz looks like this and if you choose with tarot, we are going to be using the Weaver's Tarot. So Threads of Fate, it's such a beautiful deck. Ruler of Wands or King of Wands for this deck coming out. They um, are very gender neutral and I love that in this deck. I think it's a very beautiful thing, very inclusive. Um, and then finally for pile three, we have this little raw citrine cluster. It's very pretty little gold tip here and we have for the tarot we have this um santa muerte tarot <coughs> oh, excuse me sorry about that um and coming out interesting two of wands coming out for pile three so that could be significant for you um all right so take as much time as you need please please trust your intuition believe what you feel Okay, in a world where we are told often to not believe how we feel, I am encouraging you, along with all of the other wonderful tarot readers out here um, on YouTube, to really, really tap into your feelings, okay? So, take time, know that you are safe and loved, and I will see you soon. All right. Welcome back, Pile One. If you chose this beautiful little smoky quartz, or you were drawn to the Mystic Mondays Tarot, this is your reading. So I did a little shuffling on camera for you and just did a time lapse of it, but that way you could see me pull the cards still. Um, so let's talk about how you see yourself first, and then we're gonna get into why people find you so irresistible. So part of why people find you so irresistible might come through in this, by the way, but I will say you are incredibly healing for people to be around. And so people find your energy to be very irresistible. Like I hear people get really, really addicted to you. Like, I mean, people are like moths to a flame with you. Um, you might be a fire sign. Uh, you could also be an air sign. Um, definitely seeing a lot of air energy here. Um, that doesn't have to be the case. You could be any sign is uh, any sign, but that's just what I'm seeing right now. So, um, hey, <laughs> you are a very spiritually gifted human pile one. Um, being represented by this crow you have a wellspring of knowledge i i think both like intellectually and spiritually and even emotionally right like i just feel like you, you not that you're an all-knowing being but people sometimes might actually kind of look at you that way you could be a psychic um or you could be a medium or a tarot reader as well, any of the above, all of the above. Um, but people look at you as uh, very intimidating, honestly, Pile One. They um, feel like you can see the future <laughs> um, and you can see right through them. Um, it is attractive, but it also scares people just a little bit. Um, <laughs> The thing with you is that you 
have a very strong relationship with the divine, however you quantify this, you know, spirit, the divine, um, the universe, however, uh, you would name that source, you are incredibly connected and you understand the universal connectedness of all things. Um, this Anima Mundi card is connected to the world card in the tarot. And I feel like for you, uh, so you could be Capricorn for one thing with the world card coming through um, also. So take that if it resonates. But you are very, very accepting of situations, of people, um, you're very much someone who, in this archetype book, it talks about accept all, reject none. And I really feel like you embody this energy. You make people feel very welcomed. Now, people might be very intimidated by your energy. 333 just coming across. You could <laughs> definitely be in your empress energy. I see you as being somebody who's just very powerful, very loving, um, unconditionally, truly unconditionally. And people are very attracted to this with this attraction card coming through and Libra coming through. Actually, that is one of the signs that rules over the empress. So interesting that that's coming through. 34 is coming through on this card as well. So you could be 34 um, or 34 could be significant to you in some way but with these purple pansies coming through as well the the flower on this card um i i'm seeing you having you know again with this crow energy uh this feels like an echo of you have a very uh defined crown chakra and third eye chakra your higher chakras are very active um you i i, I will say <laughs> take care of yourself make sure that you are uh cleansing and protecting your energy having strong firm boundaries because i do see a lot of people coming in there could be there could have been like for periods of your life confusion about what energy was yours and what was someone else's energy um but i see that you have really surrendered to this uh, universal connectedness that I, I I know I keep saying that, but I I really feel like you see how everything is connected. Like you see, um, I, well, exactly like these fractals, right? Like the infinity loop, the fractals in this little um, image where it's just like it's kind of like a funhouse mirror. Like they just keep going and going and going endlessly, right? Um, I, I feel like you have surrendered fully to this knowing, and you could have s struggled with impatience in your life. Maybe you tried to force things to happen for yourself. Maybe you still do at times. You really try to uh, push through and um, heal yourself. Uh, like, not just heal yourself. I think you definitely have healing capabilities. But um, you might try to rush your healing at times. Uh, also, the number 17 could be significant. Someone could be 17. Um, 2017 could have been a significant time period for you as well. Um, but Aries symbol is coming through here. Um, and with impatience, you know, uh, Aries energy can be impatient because, you know, they, they want to move forward. They're, you know, um, constantly striving to be better and very ambitious. These are great things about the Aries sign, right? Um, shout out to all the little Aries babies out there. <laughs> but uh, you could have struggled with that um, sort of tipping over and in, into impatience. And you might still sometimes do that. And that impatience could lead you to sort of uh, doing things that don't resonate with you all of the time. Like, I do feel like that was a struggle. I feel like that's something that you've really come out of and you've really worked through. But I think that that led to a lot of confusion in your life because it felt like, you know, I'm putting all of my energy into this, but I'm not seeing the results. And you felt like you were almost in a fog. And now it feels like you fully embraced this power within you to surrender. And I just think that that's absolutely beautiful. 
Um, I really think that you've gone through a huge transformation recently and really have regenerated yourself. You could have like literally regenerated your life. I'm seeing somebody like purging things from their life, purging relationships, a job, um, you know, their actual home. And you've really cleansed yourself, um, especially with this smoky quartz being the stone that you chose. Um, and I think that people really do love this. So we're going to go ahead and if this sounds like you great, then you have found your pile. We are going to go ahead and uh, get some message cards now from people around you that want to tell you how they see you, why they find you so irresistible. So I'm going to set the little smoky quartz over this way and we're going to go ahead and get going. So, all right. Why do people find pile one so irresistible? <laughs> why do people find pile one so irresistible? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so temple coming out in the upright and love in reverse. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get some more and then we'll, then we'll address. Okay. So okay. why do people find pile one so irresistible? Ooh. I hear a lot of people find you irresistible. There are so many, oh my gosh, there are so many cards that like want to flip out and then they're flipping back in. I think you make people really, really nervous, pile one. Um, yeah, very much so. Okay, so we got the Crafty Crocodile, Boldness, Self-Discovery, Assurance. Ancient keeper of wisdom and insight, show me how to dive deep into my feelings. So scorpionic energy coming through here, but also with this boldness. Again, I'm getting Aries energy from you. So maybe you have Aries in your chart somewhere. Um, yeah, I could definitely see that. Okay, let's grab some more. Why do people find pile number one so irresistible? Oh, wow. That one came out with a vengeance. Okay. Magic happens when you most expect it. Okay. All right. What do people find so irresistible about pile one? Okay. Yeah, this makes sense for you. Oh, wow. We got a few. We have priestess coming through. How are you being called to step up and lead? Take a break, a life's work, not, not a season, sorry, get off the treadmill. Yeah, there's that energy again of like, it's okay to, <laughs> to take a break. You don't have to rush yourself all of the time. So it's funny that I noticed that and then apparently other people notice this about you, but they find it irresistible, which yeah, we'll go into. So soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Interesting, interesting. Okay. All right. Let's get a few more. The second bloom, a second chance, it's never too late, new possibilities. And held, sureness of soul of the soil, sorry, unseen help, support community. So this kind of feels like it goes together for sure. Um, with the soul family stuff. Okay, so we'll talk about these and then we might get a few more. Okay, so, hmm, all right, pile one. <laughs> so people find again your energy and your connection with the divine like your mysticism with this temple being upright it just it intimidates and intrigues people and they absolutely find it irresistible with you they think like you are invaluable to them like people people learn a lot from you um 
about themselves, about life. And so when you come in contact with people, you really impart these messages of love, for one thing, but also you impart these messages that people are honestly shocked and a little bit afraid of because you will say something and you may not even fully realize this, but maybe, maybe you do, but you you can read people like no other or they feel like you read them. Like they feel like you just have full access to their soul. I'm hearing like you, <laughs> you have dropped little like nuggets of wisdom on people, but specifically you'll say something and people i've i'm hearing like have been like holy crap how did pile one know that <laughs> like how did they know i needed to hear that how did they know that like that was something i was going through again you could be a tarot reader yourself and if you're not i really think you would be very good at it pile one um very talented human Definitely. Um, and it, it makes sense why. Like, you could be very crafty as well. I think people, um, they admire your uh, creativity, but specifically your ability to create. Um, you know, it's it's not just like the ideas, right? You're not just an ace of wands. You're like the three of wands. You're moving things into being. You're not just a page. You're a knight. Um, but with the crafty crocodile, you are very intelligent and people feel very stimulated by the conversations that you will have with them. Like you really make people think, pile one. Um, people love how bold you are. Like they, they love your fiery nature. Um, again, with self-discovery, I feel like people, for one thing, they feel like you're a very multifaceted human that, you know, it's, it's, um, it's like peeling back the, I was about to, oh my gosh, a Shrek quote, uh, ogres are like onions, yeah, <laughs> no, but you, um, <laughs> you might be, um, a bit more like a flower, like a rose, and it's like you have all of these petals, and it just, nobody ever knows everything about you. Like there's just always so much more to know. There's so much depth to you, pile one. There's so much depth to you. Um, and yeah, people feel like, I don't know, you could be clairvoyant or claircognizant, clairaudient. You, one of the clairs, I definitely am getting that from you. Um, and yeah, they just, you're so insightful. You know, like, again, it's not just that people love the sense of self-discovery that they have with you about you, right? That you, that they see you having. It's the self-discovery that you allow for people to have with you about themselves. Like, when you are with people, I have a feeling you do really well in one-on-one -on -one conversations with people because it allows for you to focus on them fully. And when that happens, like, people get really excited. Like, people want to have one-on-ones with you, Pile One, because they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, they're going to read me. <laughs> like, I'm so excited for this moment <laughs> and um it's because within that they do feel more assured about themselves like i feel like you have a lot of confidence in yourself and you know i feel like it's it's a quiet kind of confidence it doesn't have to be um you know it's it's not bravado right so it's not it's not fake. Like you have this confidence because you've been through quite a bit in your life, I think for sure. And you've learned how to really love yourself and, and, um, be comfortable in your skin. Right. And so you have this, uh, assurance that you carry yourself with, right. You're very assured of yourself. And whenever you are with other people, I really do feel like you do a good job at assuring others and like, through their discovery, you're very um, gentle and understanding, um, but you're also like a good hype man or hype woman, hype human. <laughs> um, and people really like that. But, um, you know, magic happens when you most expect it coming out. So the number 44 could be significant or the number four in general could be very significant. Um, you... Again, you have a very strong sense of self. You have a very strong foundation within yourself. And 
people love your perspective on things. Like you're someone who it's not toxic positivity. You are someone who is very grateful though. Again, that anima mundi card coming through where everything is connected. You're, you embrace things for what they are and f- people for who they are, right? And people feel like you're very abundant, right? I'm getting that uh, empress card again and also the emperor. You have a good balance of uh, masculine and feminine energy within you, um, but you are someone who attracts a lot of abundance in your life you you attract magic to you and people see that they find that very irresistible they want to know how you do that they want to be a part of that um and the thing that i feel like you guide people to do is to have gratitude for themselves and for others right like you do um with the second bloom a second chance it's never too late new possibilities like Again, I feel like this kind of echoes what I was just saying. You are someone who, you're not just blindly optimistic. You know, you you truly believe that the wheel, right? The wheel of fortune is coming through for me right now. And the wheel of fortune is always turning, right? And the opportunities that are meant for you will not pass you by. There will be a second chance, right? Like, and you really do have such a firm grasp on this pile one people find that so beautiful about you um you could have also had like sort of a a second chance in life maybe like people could know that maybe that's a really big part of your story um you know you could have went through some kind of you could have gone through some kind of downfall i mean you could have gone through like a physical ailment that really took you down and or or you could have gone through like a public um you know disgrace of some kind sorry if that's uh hurtful to hear right now but um my point though is that you didn't let yourself get stuck there you moved and you found new possibilities and you've really grown from this pile one it's it's very very beautiful and i can see how it's very admirable and irresistible right for people um they're slightly obsessed with you. So um, with soul family coming in, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Um, I think that you are someone that people would like to be soul family with. Again, like I'm getting, you're very much a leader pile one um, with all of this Aries energy that I'm kind of feeling (laughs) intuitively coming through. Um, I feel like you don't let people do things alone. Like you're very much the kind of friend that when someone needs you, you are there, you know, like somebody needs to move house, you're going to help them move, you know, and it's not with this expectation of them paying you back. You know that the wheel is turning in your favor, right? And it will come back to you. The energy that you put out there will come back to you eventually. Um, You're not worried about that. What you're worried about is making sure that people don't have to be alone. And I think that that's so incredibly beautiful. Also, you could have like a soul family. Um, you could have found them recently. You could have a soul tribe. Um, we have take a break. Life's uh, life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. I feel like you used to treat life like it was a treadmill. And you, uh, you were racing around towards things that you thought you wanted. And spirit really <laughs> made sure to... Uh, <laughs> give you the lesson of of this right taking breaks and um connecting and truly being authentic with yourself and understanding that it's not it's not always in our best interest to be impatient and go after things. It is great to be a, a go-getter and be ambitious, right? But we need to also balance that with taking our breaks, resting. Rest is productive. And I feel like you've really started embracing this. And people have seen such a, a difference in your energy. Um, people find this really irresistible just because it inspires them to do the same thing, right? You are leading by example, Um, 
with priestess coming through, I mean, <laughs> need I see more or need I say more? You're leading, right? You are this um, high priestess kind of person, right? Um, you know, with the snake on her head, I feel like you're someone who's been through a major transformation recently. And I feel like people may have seen this happen and they're really shocked at how how you've changed, how you've, you know, glowed up um, with held sureness of the soil, unseen help, support, and community. Like, again, I feel like you really hold a lot of space for people and you're just a really, really good friend, Pile One. Um, you know, you know how to support others and you know how to support yourself. You know how to lean on your own soul family or your own spirit guides on spirit as well to to guide support and hold you right and so in doing that you know how to do that for others and i think that that's so beautiful um we're gonna get a few more cards now so <laughs> let's see what else okay transformation shed let go make room for greatness i feel like this is you like you have done this um you could have had a physical transformation as well recently um I don't know why that just came through, but, you know, your hair could be looking really healthy. Your skin could be glowing. Um, you could be uh, moving your body more, um, eating a different uh, set of foods that maybe resonates a little bit better with your body. And you just look really healthy, right? Um, you know, whatever body you have, whatever physical body you have taken on, it's very beautiful to people. And people have noticed it transform alongside um you and internally right all right what else do people find irresistible about oh my goodness <laughs> that one flipped out i'm gonna grab that one it fell on the floor so hold on okay um oh it's it was two. <laughs> okay. So we have talk less, feel more. Last quarter moon in Pisces. So you could be Pisces or have Pisces in your chart, but this feels very pertinent to you because I feel like you're a really good listener, right? You're so good at supporting others, very empathic and empathetic as a human. Um, you've really learned how to tap into your intuition, into your feelings. I'm getting queen of cups energy now. Um, you're someone who really trusts your your feelings. You, you believe what you feel, but you're not ruled by it, right? Um, and with talking less, you know, you've found the importance of listening to others and learning th through others, right? Um, people love this. They feel like they can talk to you they feel very heard they feel very seen and safe we have last quarter moon and capricorn leave the past behind so yeah you're a very hard worker for one thing with this capricorn energy coming through again um and you are someone who has learned how to leave the past behind you know you've learned how to leave things that didn't resonate or serve you like i really do get this sense that you were chasing after a dream or a job that uh, maybe at one time did resonate with you, but then you started noticing that you were stagnating in life and it really bothered you. So you transformed and people find this to be so inspiring, honestly, because that takes a lot of courage, pile one. People really admire your courage. They find it so beautiful. Um, and it really inspires them to to go out and do the same thing. You know, it's not easy to put everything into something and feel like, Oh my gosh, now I have to start over, right? It's it's giving me very much uh seven of pentacles vibes, especially in the reverse. Like you you know, you learned how to let that go. You learned how to move on and make peace with it. Um we also have last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self-love. I think you have done that. And again, you know, it's it's from learning how to oh my gosh, yeah, learning how to love yourself, learning how to transform, but it came out over take a break. Yeah, you learned how to rest and prioritize your rest. And that is that is the most pure, I think, the purest 
form of self-love is to rest, especially in a world where we are constantly bombarded with this idea that, you know, you got to grind and hustle and all that stuff. It's like, no, 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 no. Like it is productive to rest. It is productive to rest our physical bodies. It's productive for us to rest spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. And you have found out how to do that. And people are learning from you Thank you so much for, for doing this for your community, Pile One. This is a beautiful thing. We have Full Moon and Virgo take inspired action. You know, you are this great balance of rest and movement, though. I And I think that this is so great for people around you to see. Um, you know, you you do take action when you feel called to, right? But that's the thing. It's when you feel called to and you rest when you feel called to because you know what? You're tapped into your intuition right? You are so tapped in. Um, it's, it's honestly, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I, I just, I think you are absolutely gorgeous, Phyllon. Um, okay. Let's see. We're going to just get a couple more. Ooh, some, a card actually just flipped out of this deck and it felt pertinent. So magical <laughs> because you are, um, people feel like you are, <laughs> you are a witch of some kind, Phyllon. And they want a piece of that magic, uh, along with some pieces of other things, apparently. But um, they do feel like you are magical in nature. Like, you almost come off otherworldly. Like, you're, like, not human. We have chemistry. There's a strong mag magnetic attraction here. Yeah. People... Again, when you talk with people, it's the way you connect, Pile One. You are so incredibly present with people when you are talking to them. It's like, again, talk less feel more. Um, I, I know it's like feel more, but I feel like you talk less so that you can be a better listener, that you can really like take in somebody's energy um, and make them feel very loved and heard and seen. And, and like I said, you do that for people. And it's because of that that people feel such a strong chemistry with you. Um, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. They also feel it because you are very flirtatious. You're very good at flirting. <laughs> and I feel like it's because you are very, I feel like you're very witty. Um, you are uh, just very intelligent with that crow having come through before. Um, and so I feel like you're just, I don't know, you have like a quickness to you and people really enjoy that. You're, um, you're very playful. You deserve love. You are lovable. I mean, absolutely. People, people are so in love with you. They want to, they want to shoot their shot with you, file one. They want to so badly. Um, yeah, I think people find you to be so enigmatic and and mysterious and absolutely lovely. They just they think that you deserve the world, honestly. Um so, yeah, we're going to get a few messages from my message cards that I made just to see what we get. What makes pile 1? Okay. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Sun in Virgo. So you could be a sun in Virgo. Um, I'm also just getting with this Virgo energy, more Virgo energy. Like you are very, for one thing, you're very clean. You look very clean. You look like you take good care of yourself, very fastidious in nature. But also you, um, you have this purity to you, right? Like people... People see you as so pure-hearted, and um, they, they really enjoy that about you. I don't have any tears left for you. Um, I think this is about, like, I don't, you don't have time to mourn anymore over your past. Like, you've learned how to really let go of that and move forward. Um, and people find this very, uh, actually, that's so interesting. This little candle over here went out as soon as I was saying that, and that felt so resonant. Um, yeah, like once things are done, they're done, and you move on. And people find this very um, just beautiful and inspiring to them. Um, again, like people really look up to you, Pile One. Greedy, you're not 
and people love this but people are really greedy with you people are really greedy with your energy um so really be careful with that mercury and pisces again this is how you communicate right you could have mercury and pisces um but you have a way of communicating that is so um well for one thing people think you're dreamy like the way that you talk your voice could be very soft it's very dreamlike like people just feel like you're so otherworldly but with um this they feel like there's a softness to the way that you communicate there's such a, an understanding there's so much depth and emotion to you um and people feel that they feel that resonant in in them whenever you you talk it's it's beautiful capricorn rising so you could have a capricorn rising uh lots of capricorn energy coming through but it could make you very um you know focused on your career focused on progressing forward so again that movement coming through but also with capricorn rising you could have a very beautiful smile um capricorns roll over the teeth and the bones um so your skeletal system so you could have like uh, very, very beautiful bone structure. I'm seeing somebody with like a really nice jawline and like very beautiful cheekbones. Um, you could have like, I don't know, just a very nice profile. Like I'm seeing somebody with like a beautiful um, like nose and everything. Yeah, it's, it's great. With Lilith coming through, this is interesting. So people definitely also find you very uh, sexually appealing. Um, like they wonder what you're like, in the bedroom <laughs> um but they do feel like you are very um like free like very sexually free we have aquarius rising coming through as well so lots of rising signs coming through so this is interesting um people could be confused like they don't really know like your energy is so big and so mysterious <laughs> like you just like it's hard to pin down like like who you are sometimes so with Aquarius rising like you are very unique people see that right away they think that you're very innovative very smart again like air energy coming through here but yeah you um you could definitely be somebody who uh is constantly thinking of uh new projects new ideas and it's so incredibly inventive and genius I'm hearing. I think you're stunning. Yeah, people think you are beautiful, pile one. Absolutely stunning. Whispering sweet nothings. Yeah, more of this like energy of people really wanting to um, have a sexy time with you. <laughs> uh, they want to whisper sweet nothings. They want to hear your voice specifically whispering sweet nothings to them. ENTJ. So you could be an ENTJ. Um, this is an MBTI type. Uh, if you don't know what that is. Um, so it's a personality type. But... So you could be extroverted or people think you are very extroverted and intuitive. Definitely intuitive. I mean, yeah, you are someone who has a strong intuition and that is something people find irresistible because they're just like, man, pile one can tell me like what i need to do to to improve my future and stuff and like that's great um but anyway they also think you have a beautiful mind with t coming through as a thinker and with j um you have a very like strong understanding of what is right and wrong and you have like a good moral compass like for yourself but you don't try to force that onto other people and that's something people really appreciate about you um we have mars and scorpio coming through so you know again the sexual energy of mars coming through uh people feel like you are really good in bed <laughs> like they feel like you would be very good being intimate with them and they really want to explore that with you because they see such emotional depth in you um they are scared of you whenever you do get angry or upset Pe and people have seen that there is like a, oh i do not want to make them upset um but people find your sexual energy very irresistible um, mental prison and this actually came out in reverse and I'm going to take it in reverse because I think that you help people get out of their mental prison and people are really thankful for this um, we have 
North America coming out, um, but it came out in reverse, so maybe South America is also uh, relevant. I don't know why that just made me think of that, but you could be um, from North America somewhere, so hello, North Americans. Um, we also have Leo Rising coming out here. Um, so you could have Leo Rising as well. You could have really beautiful hair. Like I was getting that like very lush, luscious, like um, not luscious, but uh, lustrous like hair. Um, it's very shiny, healthy. People want to run their hands through it. Um, people want to do a lot of things to you. But also like you, you have that boldness to you, right? Leo has that as well. Like you are so entertaining for people to watch. Um, they love listening to you talk. They love hearing you tell stories because of the way that you talk and the way that you tell them. Um, yeah, you're... You're someone that people really likes being around. You know, you just have a natural entertaining quality to you. Okay, so that's what I'm getting as far as messages go. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a few more messages from the tarot, and then we'll wrap things up with letters, numbers, and charms, and I will set you on your merry way. But I hope that you've been enjoying this so far and that you are realizing how irresistible you are. Um, hmm. So let's grab the tarot. I did pre-shuffle this deck, so she is good to go. Oh, I just tapped my cord on my camera, so I hope that didn't mess that up. Okay, whoa. Wheel of Fortune coming out! Oh my gosh! Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is great. Okay, so what do people find irresistible about pile one? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. Ha, ah, the devil, yup. Capricorn energy coming through. Sagittarius energy as well, so Sagittarius could be in your chart somewhere. The King of Cups in reverse, interesting, okay. Um, why do people find the Empress? Oh my gosh, she made her debut, hello. Okay, 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 all right. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Okay. And the Six of Swords in reverse coming through as your main energy. Okay. So. Wow, Pile. Pile One. This is kind of absolutely amazing. So <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your beautiful energy with me today. Um, yeah. Okay. So. What do people find irresistible about you? So, again, with this Wheel of Fortune coming through, people feel like you are incredibly abundant, you are incredibly tapped into the divine, and it's like you are this seer who just knows, like, when is the right opportunity to strike on things, that you have so much luck on your side, you are so expansive as a person, you've really um, expanded your world, your perspective, other people's perspectives as well. Um, and it's because you have this understanding of the Wheel of Fortune, right? Like you understand that it's always turning and it's, you know, things are happening for you, not to you. You really believe that at this point. And I think I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. With this Eight of Pentacles coming out, um, in reverse, you're someone who, again, you may have, uh, you may resonate with being a workaholic at some point in your life. That may have been something that you really learned to let go of, like a toxic quality in yourself for yourself, right? Um, that you learned how to let go of with this King of Cups in reverse as well. But with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, you've really learned to, again, prioritize rest and have started understanding that that is just as productive. Um, you're also someone who people see as incredibly talented. Like you have so many talents and people are honestly a little bit intimidated by this they may feel like a little bit scared that like they don't stack up to you um and that's you know that's uh, i understand that um but again it, that's that's on that's on them and that's not something that you're putting out there i don't feel like you put that energy out there like you're better than everybody else um if anything i feel like you're very much 
someone who tries to, you know, have all boats rise, you know. Um, I do feel like people, again, they do notice that you still have a tendency with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse to be a little bit impatient at times, like that could still bleed through, you know. Um, and you could have struggled with being a perfectionist in your life. You could be very open with that and about how that really held you back in moments. Um, but you don't let that hold you back anymore, right? With this Wheel of Fortune, you have moved on. With the devil in the upright, um, people find you incredibly sexy and like very just like seductive um addictive i'm hearing again like people feel like they could really lose themselves in you because there's just so much to explore with this stairway into her mind like yeah people people want to get lost in you with this king of cups in reverse i feel like you're someone who has really released toxicity in yourself and like toxicity in your life in general you don't have space for that and you you are very discerning you will not tolerate that and people actually really like this about you um they know that if they're going to come at you they need to come correct right um with this empress energy right next to it i feel like it's because you are in this empress energy like it's like you're sitting on your throne and you're like yeah you can come to me <laughs> like, um but you better come you better come prepared and you better come with something like and you you need to come um not even with something like people have to have something to give you i don't think that i think you have created your own empire right like you you have all the nice things you you bring in so much abundance for yourself you're so beautiful in so many ways um and all you ask from other people is for them to be authentic and good to you and with you right like you're not going to make space for somebody to emotionally manipulate you you're not going to make space for someone to abuse you in any way right? Like, no, you will, <laughs> you will, um, uh, exercise them <laughs> from <laughs> your life. You will, you will banish them for your, from your kingdom with the 10 of pentacles right next to that. Yeah, exactly. Like you've worked very hard to have this 10 of pentacles for yourself. And I think you provide for yourself and your family and you do a really good job of it. You know, you're very much somebody who is abundant and who shares that abundance with others. You're not stingy. You're not greedy, right? With the six of swords um, in the reverse, I do feel like people, they honestly, they get so addicted to you um, and specifically your healing abilities since you did pick this little smoky quartz. Um that I, I was picking this up in the beginning people get very scared of you leaving them behind and what that will mean for their life because they've become so addicted to sorry my cat is um trying to talk to me because he wants to be fed and he will get fed after i'm finished <laughs> i promise um but um they are afraid though that once you leave things will go back to being toxic in their life and they won't have any healing anymore because they've become very dependent on you. That's not to say you're an enabler. People just can get very dependent on you. And I think you do actually do a good job of making sure to mitigate that as much as possible. But that's something to be a little bit aware of just in case you weren't. Um, but that's what I'm getting from the tarot. We are going to jump into letters numbers and message uh sorry not messages uh we're gonna get into charms and letters and numbers first letters and numbers so what letters and numbers would resonate with my dear dear pile ones okay all right let's see all right so we have a w coming out so these could be your initials somebody else's initials uh well we have the number seven coming out i'll try to pull letters but um yes you're someone who is very spiritual in nature and people love that we have the letter d <clears throat> i'm hearing you <laughs> well i just got what are you doing <laughs> like people might be in your dms a lot <laughs> um but we have z um but i was actually thinking like you have big big d energy uh but the letter z is coming through we have n as well. We have the number four coming out again, like four could be very significant for you. You could be um, 
born in April, you could be an April Aries specifically, um, or you could be uh, the the year 74 could be significant to somebody. 47 could be significant. You'd be a life path seven or a life path four. You could be born in July as well. Seven again. So yeah, you're very lucky. Seven, seven coming through. Yeah, you're, you're extremely lucky. Um, and people see that and know that the letter V coming out always makes me think of Aries because of the way I draw my V's. Um, but also I'm, I'm getting victory. People think that you are victorious in whatever you do. We have I, yeah, victorious. Um, we have M or W. I'm taking it as an M. And another I. I'm hearing you are the apple of people's eye. Um, and we have the number nine, so you could be a life path nine. Um, or you could be uh, born in September. You could be born on the fourth of any month, the seventh or the ninth. 94 could be significant for someone, 49. Um, but with the number nine, you are very concerned about people, humanitarian efforts, uh, you know, philanthropy, charity, things of that nature, like very much a leader for the people. Um, we are going to get charms now, so this box is going to get loud. If you have headphones in, turn them down or take them out. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some letters first. All right, I allow my sensuality to express itself freely. Yeah, you do, absolutely. And people sense that and they really like how free you are about things. I was definitely getting that earlier, so I'm glad that came out. I am embracing my wild feminine goddess energy. Yeah, you are the empress, right? And you embrace that feminine energy. You are very much um, in your feminine and masculine energy, I would say. Like you're good at being receptive when you need to be and when you feel called to do so. And then when you feel called to move, you move. You're in your masculine energy, right? Um, it is safe for me to express my sexuality. Exactly. Like, you let people come to you and you come to people. Like, when you're ready, like, you're not afraid to be bold and make the first move. With the little B coming through, um, you are incredibly spiritually uh, protected. You have spirit guides around you if you don't know them yet. Like, you can get in tune and in touch with them. Um, I would suggest doing uh, some research on that. Maybe a little bit of meditation work. With this little four star uh, Dragon Ball, you could be a DBZ fan. Um, but I'm getting from this specifically that you are somebody who I'm. I'm seeing the Ouroboros, and you're like the snake eating its own tail. You um, understand the need to constantly be growing and in transformation, but to take rest when you need to, right? Like, yeah. Um, but also, you have this playfulness to you that people really love and find irresistible. You know, Goku was a little kid when he got this. It's been with him since he was born. So it's like making me think of you being a little kid. And um, yeah, you have like a very youthful energy to you, Pile One. We have Elisa from Gargoyles. You could be a Gargoyles fan. Um, but yeah, you're somebody who's like tough. You can take care of yourself, right? Like you don't need a big bad gargoyle to protect you. Like you're like, eh, I got this. <laughs> you got your little gun, you're ready. <laughs> um, no, but but you are there to protect others and you're there to find like, you know, true justice for people. Like you're very much someone who listens to everyone. Like you believe everyone has value. Um, we have... Liddy like throwing the desk over like she's done with this like yeah this is you sometimes you can probably get very impatient people actually find this really cute though about you sorry if that I don't mean that to be offensive but people do find this really adorable um and also though like you have found out like found again like this feels like confirmation of like you found it in yourself to like understand when it is that you need to rest and walk away from work, you know, so you don't get to burn out phase or like frustrated. Um, you're never alone if you have demons. <laughs> um, so again, like, I feel like you're very witty. You're funny. You might have like a dark sense of humor and people find this surprising, but they really like it. Um, <laughs> but you know, you may have really struggled with demons in your life and you may have a very like dark past behind you. Um, but you really inspire others to understand that, you know, they're never alone and also they can get through it and they can like, um, 
make peace with their demons, you know, and, and love themselves in, in spite of or because of them. We have give me your love. People want so much for you to give them their love or your love. They want to give you their love as well. But um, yeah, you could have like a lot of DMs right now. Uh, just saying you could be getting a lot as we speak. Um, but also like people could really love when your name lights up like they're their phone in general like they love getting messages from you you could like be really good at words of affirmation you could just be very eloquent there's something about the way that you communicate that people like are very addicted to because i do think you make people feel good about themselves need to get home the little alien <laughs> so yeah again people could love the fact that you're so different and unique you're kind of an alien to them like you feel like you're from another world which you could be a starseed so um and you really embrace your uniqueness, your, you know, weirdness, like, you know, and you embrace others' oddities as well. I'm not mean, I'm honest. You are, you're not mean. You're not mean. And people actually, like, you could be very blunt and brutally honest at times, but actually people really appreciate this about you. And they feel like, again, your honesty, like, really hits different for them. Like, they're just like, wow, I needed to hear that, and I don't know how you knew that, but, you know, you're an alien, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so file one, that's where I'm going to leave you today. I hope that you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And wherever you're, you are in the world, I hope that you are feeling safe and that you know you are so incredibly loved um, by me and so many other people. Um, if you liked this video, I would love to, to know by you hitting the, the like button or subscribing if you'd like to see more of this um, and commenting if anything did really resonate with you. It would really make my day. I would really, really appreciate that. So um, until next time, though, I will see you later. All right. Welcome back, Pile 2. If you chose this lovely piece of raw rose quartz, or you were drawn to the... If I can find the deck. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm surrounded right now. Um, but if you, or if you also found yourself drawn to the uh, Weaver's Tarot, then this is going to be your reading. So I did a little time-lapse shuffling for you just so you can see that. And then I will shuffle on, uh, I was about to say on deck. <laughs> oh my goodness. I will shuffle on camera for the rest of the reading. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and, and get that one going a little bit quicker. Um, so it also gave me a chance to sit with your energy for a second. So this beginning part is about how you see yourself. Before we get into why people find you irresistible, we want to make sure that we are um, in the right energy. And actually, I'm going to light a little bit of incense for you. So, All right. Okay. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, so... As I'm trying to get incense to light, um, we're gonna talk about there we go. How you're seeing yourself. So for you, pile two, what I find really intriguing is there may be part of you that really doubts um for one thing how successful you are or you've been or you have learned how to face that part of you the part of you that was insecure or that is insecure you have really learned how to face your inner demons and love yourself in spite of those things and really chase after your success you may have um in the past though been someone who really questioned your own instincts and it wasn't until you really became um i guess more uh confident in yourself and you found your your authenticity, right? You found this this sense of authenticity in yourself. And sorry if that was a that feels like a weird statement, <laughs> like a weird jumble of words. Um, but you found uh, you found this within yourself, and 
I think that it has a lot to do with um, opening your heart space to spirit specifically. There is a, an era of mystery, uh, an, era, an aura. Oh my gosh, I can't talk in this pile. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> I, uh, I do think you make people very nervous because you are so wise. You are so abundant as well. You could be 22 or 23 or 2022 or 2023 could be very significant for you, right? Last year could have been a big deal for you. It could have been when you really learned a lot of these lessons. Um, and some of those lessons could be coming into 2023 with you. Um <clears throat> With abundance, we also have the sign of Sagittarius on this card. Um, so Sagittarius could be significant to you or Sagittarius season could be significant for you this year. Um, and on this card with wisdom, uh, we have the sign of Leo coming out. So you could also have Leo in your chart. We do also have for your little spirit animal, we have the brawny bear, power, inner strength, rejuvenation, mighty guardian of the woods, connect me to the power of earth. So earth signs coming through here. So you could have earth in your chart pretty heavily. Um, you could have uh, like Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, even your Venus or Mars could be dominated by that or Mercury as well. Um, <clears throat> but if you don't know any of that, that's totally okay. Uh, that's not what we're really here for today. I do think, though, you are a very powerful person. You are very powerful in your manifestation power specifically um, is what I'm getting here. And even with these little blueberries around the bear, um, I just got really drawn into that, thinking about the authenticity that I was talking about. So you have really found it in yourself to be more authentic ex in your expression of who you are. And I actually wonder if it's because like, okay, so <laughs> on this card, the number 22 is in red. And <clears throat> it makes me think of fire energy. And we're seeing a lot of that red color here oh, also sorry if you can hear my cat uh they're scratching right now so that should end momentarily <laughs> i apologize if that is distracting um th but that, that actually leads me to a point okay so you may have felt very distracted and that could have been like distracted by your own um, mind, your own fears, right? The lack mentality that you may have been kind of forcing yourself into because you were uh, not really speaking your truth even to yourself, right? Um, and really being dictated by this fear of, of success or of failure. I, I think it was a bit of both. Um, but in healing this part of yourself, you found an incredible amount of wisdom. And I see that your fire, your inner, like, your inner agony, your any inner fire, your any, <laughs> your inner fire got lit up. Um, it was rekindled. And this could have been through tarot, looks like a tarot card here, or even through journaling and meditation. Um, but with all this red, I'm getting like very much you, you got into a more driven and ambitious energy and then what's interesting is that we then transition over and it's actually kind of cool we have instinct in the pilgrim here which we haven't talked about the pilgrim yet but the pilgrim is an echo of this insecurity card where the pilgrim follows their heart they understand that the heart needs movement right that <clears throat> To live a life of purpose is to move, is to like literally move. You could have literally moved actually with Sagittarius here too. You could have uh, decided to travel. That could be part of this success that you are having has allowed for you to travel. Um, but with this gray energy, um, you know, you could have gone through this uh like sacral chakra type of awakening where you really found your passion again for life, your zeal, your zest. Um, and then you could have gone through a bit of a, a lull and it could have made you really question your instincts I'm seeing here. And it, it may have even made you question like, am I actually connected to spirit? Am I really tapped in the way that I thought that I was? Because I feel like there was this spiritual awakening that was even happening on this side with all of this fire energy. Fire is very spiritual in nature. Um, 
<clears throat> and then we move into all of this purple energy where your third eye is super lit up. And I feel like you started realizing like that you're not always so with mysticism specifically you're not always meant to know the exact answer of things it's okay to observe it's okay to sit it's okay to not know everything right and that 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 acceptance has actually allowed for you to have more abundance in your life which is really interesting right like and even with this little moon emblem here it really feels like you became <clears throat> one with your subconscious, with the unknown. Um, you have trusted in your third eye and your intuition. Um, and people, I do feel like, see this, but I do feel like this is kind of uh, more personal to you. This, this could have happened a bit more in private. Um, but that's what I'm getting as far as your energy check. So if that sounds like you, congratulations. We have a winner for you. <laughs> Um, if not, know that there are two other piles for you to choose from. Um, even if you do resonate with this, you could always resonate with another pile. Feel free to choose uh, another um, as well if you feel called to do so. But we are going to go ahead and start pulling some other cards. So we're going to start tapping into other people's energy specifically. That's too many, but you have a lot of admirers. <laughs> All right, so... Pile two. Why do people find pile two so irresistible, spirit? I'm being guided for one more. This one wants to come out. Okay, okay. All right, so we have Rejoice. Oh, my neighbor, uh, he has a motorcycle and whoo, <laughs> he just came flaring through with some music. So music could be very important to you. You could be a musician. Blessed is also coming through. Yeah, I definitely think you are very blessed. And I think you do have a lot to be proud of and rejoiceful of. But I, I feel like people feel really blessed by your presence in their life. Um, you give people hope. You give people a reason to celebrate. Um you're really fun to celebrate with I'm hearing like you have such like an effervescence to you um especially with all that fire energy that Sagittarius and Leo energy coming through and even that earth energy like um yes there is a part of you that's very hard working that's very focused on growth and success um but you know when to have fun let your hair down so to speak um and you also give people a reason to celebrate themselves. You're very good at helping people see the good in themselves, um, which is a lovely characteristic to have. So what do people find? Okay. Your past supports your future. Yeah. So I think people... Oh, and the number 11 may be significant to you. You could be a life path 11. Um, also, I again, I get the sense that you just had a new, like a, you had a spiritual awakening. I almost said spring awakening. Um, maybe it was in the spring of 2022. Um, but also you could be born in November or the 11th day of any month. Um, but with your past supports your future, I do feel like there are people in your life who do know about what your past entailed and they've seen this new you and they really do feel like very proud of you like with this being next to rejoice they they feel really proud of you they want to celebrate you um and this new version of you people really really like this new version of you it's very balanced you bring a lot of balance to people's lives as well the number 14 coming through um four could be a very significant number for you as well <clears throat> uh 11 14 could be a time that you see a lot um but yeah you are you know you had a lot of earth energy and four always makes me think of earth energy it's very grounded and stable you know fours are all all about um our foundations it's also about divine protection so you are very protected and blessed right with this coming out next to blessed what's your honest truth in the number 20 yes exactly like you 
activated your throat chakra and like you are you are really speaking from an authentic place and you inspire others to do the same thing people find that very irresistible they really enjoy this part of you and being able to do this with you uh the number two could be significant as well so you could be born in february um we have change maker make waves yeah the number 45 i think you have done that and um more of this great energy coming through which in the chakra wisdom oracle deck is neutrality and it actually uh symbolizes the crown chakra specifically i feel like your connection to the divine is the thing that has really led to these changes in your life it's because you've you've started to learn to really trust in that um, connection that you do have there. And it's really made waves in your life, but it's also helped to make waves in other people's lives. Like you don't, I don't think you fully understand how impactful you are on your community pile number two. Um, but you are, people are very inspired by your journey. Um, let's go ahead and grab a couple more here. Okay. Why do people find pile two so irresistible? Oh. <laughs> Why do people find pile two so irresistible? Oh man. Some of the some of the cards are wanting to jump out. <laughs> um but then they're jumping back in. So I, again, I feel like people are just really uh intimidated by you right now in a good way it's not like a bad thing true north stay true to yourself exactly yeah M more about this truth right you do stay true to yourself you've transformed into someone who is very authentic um and you may be um actually this year you may be really following your north node um, if you know things about your south node and north node in your astrology birth chart, um, you may have just started waking up to that, uh, and you're really finding your calling, right? Um, I feel like you're also trusting in divine timing, pile two. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's get some more. Okay. Uh, wedding, this situation involves marriage. So you could be getting married. Um, what I'm actually getting from this is it's interesting. So people really admire your commitment to yourself and to your transformation and growth. Um, like people find that very irresistible. A lot of people look at you as, as the life partner that they want, ideally. Um, yeah, you have a lot of people that would like to put a ring on it. <laughs> We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, yeah, I think you are a very expressive person, especially since we did get, again, so much fire energy in the beginning. Uh, you have this very, um, uh, I, I don't know. Outgoing personality like even if you're not an extrovert it's the way that you uh communicate your emotions your feelings um people really enjoy that they find it very intoxicating i'm hearing because the the way that you express things is very like lively it's um it's not that there's no guessing involved because you still have an air of mystery but it's, it's just very entertaining to watch. Not very many people feel on the level that you do. Not very many people are able to really express things in the way that you do. Um, and people get really drawn into that. People want to express their love to you. Um, <laughs> they, they feel really, really drawn to, to you. Like I feel like you're just someone who draws others in really effortlessly. All right, let's get some more. Why do people find... Okay. <laughs> we have the snake rune coming out. So with the snake coming out, again, 
another snake. So you could be year of the snake for one thing, but also um, the snake actually has a key also in its grip, if you can see that. Um, so with the snake coming through, it's making me think of, uh, again, transformation, understanding uh, death and rebirth. You could be Scorpio as well coming through now. Um, but I definitely get the sense that you have found the key to abundance, to authenticity, to success, right? And people want to know your secret. They want to understand, like, how the heck did you find this key? Like, what's the secret? How do I do it? And you are leading by example, though. I think that you're setting a really good example for people because you are following your true north. And I think that you are communicating that very effectively. Um, you know, again, you you are very good at expressing yourself. You're a very good communicator, I would say. Okay. We have the breathing rose. Heart healing, emotions, connection, time eases. Yeah, so again, time coming through. So you have a way of accepting divine timing. And you've really learned how to release doubt. Um, you've learned how to live in tough emotions and just name them and heal through them. Um, this is something people find really irresistible because in being connected to you, right, they're able to do these same things or they're hoping that they will be able to do these same things, right? Um, this is something that, that people really love about you. They really admire about you. We have the Rose of Venus, alignment, flow, right relationship, harmony. Yeah, people feel like you would be the right person to be with. <laughs> like, um, you are so incredibly aligned. And so people feel like they're aligned with you or they want to be aligned with you. Um, you're very good at being in a state of like steady flow with the universe. And you also have a good relationship with yourself, I think. Like, you're just, you're very balanced, pile three, or I was about to say pile three, uh, pile two. Hmm. People find a lot of things really irresistible about you. We have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic Teacher. Yeah, I feel like there are people out there that... I, like, for as much as people want to be romantically involved with you, I do feel like a lot of people really just want to be a part of your inner circle, however they can be, right? So they want to be a part of your your soul family, you know? Um, you are also very, very beautiful. People feel like you have a really beautiful, like, profile. Um, also, I think a lot of people get on your social media and look at your pictures like multiple times uh, because of these mirror images. I'm just seeing somebody like consistently going back to your page over and over again because they just, they want to look at you, but also they want to learn from you. People, again, they want to have this key that you have. We have birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. You did this. You did this, pile two. And people saw that and they want this for themselves, right? You're very much in your, your flow state and your, in your empress energy. Um, and it's because you found a way to co-create with the universe because you found your inner authenticity and you opened your third eye. We have align your life. What is not aligned or needs change? You really make people realize what is unaligned in their life, right? What is imbalanced in them? What is fragmented and broken? You may pull people like this in um, because you are so healing, because you are naturally leading people towards their, um, their inner alignment, we have leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. You are so trusting with the universe at this point. And it is because you trust that you are so abundant, that the universe continues to give, right? Like, 
you have released doubt in yourself and therefore you have released doubt in the universe. You made space for this new abundance to come in. We have unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Exactly. I think you did a lot of inner work. You healed yourself um, and the past lives that you've had in this life, right? Like we have so many past lives. We have so many versions of ourselves that exist. And not only did you release those uh like fragments of yourself but you've also learned how to heal your past lives like literally past lives in a way that we would traditionally think you know where there's reincarnation involved um i think that you have done that work and you're doing that work currently and that has led to an Im immense amount of healing and people have seen that they've seen this new you rising and they're Honestly, I just, I just thought obsessed, like they're obsessed with that. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Exactly. You stepped out of this void in yourself, this darkness, this storm, and you stepped into serenity and balance. And again, people witnessed this in some way. Even if it was private, people saw it in the way that you used to behave versus the way you behave now. Like, there's just something very different about you. Um, let's get a few more here. What do people find irresistible about pile two? We have oh, full moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius coming through again. Heavy Sagittarius energy here. Lots of expansion in your life. If you aren't a Sagittarius or you don't have Sagittarius in your chart, you're embodying this energy of expansion right now, which is why this is coming through for you. Um, see the bigger picture. You have seen the bigger picture. You know, that's what you're focused on in your life. And again, People want very much to be a part of that bigger picture with you. Also, people could want to travel with you. Like, people really want to go on a trip with you. Somebody could want to take you on a trip. Like, they want to, like, pay for a trip for you. <laughs> Just saying. Also, Egypt could be significant for someone. Oh, that just kind of came through for me. Why do people find Pile 2 irresistible? Oh my. We have chaos and joy. Interesting. Okay. So <laughs> people do find you really joyful to be around. Like you are such a light in people's life. Um, you have this Again, effervescence, this vivaciousness, this youthfulness to you, no matter what age you are, um, you retain this, this youthful joy. And it's very innocent and naive. And at the same time, you can be a bit chaotic, right? Um, but people like this about you like you could be very frenetic in your energy i'm all of a sudden getting like kind of gemini energy sorry if that's i don't i hope that's not offensive to any gemini's out there it's a good thing i, I like this um but yeah you could have just a lot of different ideas this is giving me sagittarius vibes too a little bit um but you are also just a duality right and people actually really like this about you. They like both sides of you. They like that you are so multifaceted. They find that very irresistible. Um, let's get one more. How do people see Of course, I got two. <laughs> um, so speaking of duality, we have the swan coming through. People find you very beautiful, very graceful, um, definitely very mystical in nature. Uh, but they're someone, they see you as someone who has balanced themselves and balanced the light and shadow in themselves. Also, people look at you as their reflection like they they mirror you when they're around you they want to be like you 
we have the butterfly as well. Big transformation energy, air energy coming through now and water energy coming through. So you could have air and water in your chart as well. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through with this butterfly. But with the butterfly spirit, I'm very much getting, yeah, like, again, this um, sort of frenetic energy with the air energy coming through here. Uh, you could have, like, a very, like, quick mind. Um, you could talk very fast as well. Uh, you could rush around a lot. But with Butterfly, I'm also getting, you're, again, very transformative. You're always looking to change and grow and expand and just be better. And it is because of that that other people want to mirror you. They want to, to do this as well. Um, you help people release themselves from the shackles of holding themselves back, right? Like, you help people integrate with their light and shadow side. We're going to get just uh, some more message cards from the message deck that I made here. So what do people find? Oh, okay. So we've got a couple here. We'll probably get a couple more actually. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 So let's talk about it. You could have had an anxious avoidant attachment type at one point. I do feel like now you are more secure, right? And I do feel like it's because you've learned how to do, like, like you've learned how to trust yourself and trust the universe. Um, I feel like you've really learned how to love yourself. And so you have a better relationship with yourself, which in turn allows you to have better relationships with others. Abandonment wounds. Yeah, it could have been because of abandonment wounds. I felt the need to flip this one over. Um, and I now I understand why. Spirit was like, yeah, you should flip that one. Um, so yeah, you could have struggled with abandonment wounds. You know, that could have been a really heavy burden for you. It could have kept you confined in this lack mindset, in this imposter syndrome of, you know, I'm not lovable and I can't have the things that I want. You have really healed a lot, Pile 2. This is heavy energy. Um, so it's even more impressive to me that you're able to stay in this, this energy of joy. Um, and even if the, that part doesn't resonate, it's still impressive that you <laughs> stay in that, that energy of joy because, you know, everybody goes through tough things in life. And, um, yeah, I just, I think some of you went through some severe abandonment. We have North Node coming through here. So, yeah, this came through for me earlier. You may really be on a North Node journey this year. Um, and that's what I, I wanted to talk about with that, that uh, third eye opening, I think your truth came to light about yourself and you started trusting in that. And so now you're moving towards the North Node, which is not easy. This is out of our comfort zone, right? Um, so, you know, you're doing difficult things. Also, I felt the need to flip this one over, but um, your siblings could be people that find you like not irresistible in like a weird way, but like they want to be similar to you. Like, that's that's really coming through. Your siblings really look up to you. Um, they're very proud of you. They're proud to have you as a sibling. We have new moon coming through. Um, so again, you could have just gone through a, a, a big rebirth, basically, is what I'm getting. You know, um, also, you could work with the lunar cycles. Uh you could do like rituals and things for manifestation and for releasing. Um, but yeah, I feel like you just went through a new beginning. Um, we have, there's no one like you. I regret not seeing that before. I feel like people. People might have the people that abandoned you, the people that left you behind are really regretting that now because they're seeing you change before their eyes like you have metamorphosed and it is shocking the hell out of people for one thing, um, but also um, 
it impresses people and they, they're in regret that they can't be part of your life anymore. I've been watching you for some time. Can't stop staring at those ocean eyes. Ocean eyes by Billie Eilish. So again, people like watching you glow up is coming through. Um, people find your eyes really irresistible. You have very beautiful eyes, no matter what color, shape they are. Like, they are gorgeous to people, and people feel like they can, like, really get lost in them. Like, they can't stop looking at them. Um, could have gotten the same rush from any lover's touch, but why get used to something new? Because no one breaks my heart like you, uh, pull by Paramore. So, uh, if you have, a, I don't know why this just came through. If you have a picture of yourself, in a swimsuit or by a beach or a pool that I just saw like an image of someone like there's someone that like stares at that picture a lot on your social media I don't know that just that was like a very random thing that's for someone um anyway uh <laughs> so you could have had a really hard time getting over someone um and you could have pined for them a lot. They could have caused a deeper abandonment wound. They could be the ones really regretting leaving. Um, and they are obsessed with your eyes along with many others. I will say that. But um, I think that you've really healed from that situation. We have divine feminine coming through. Yes, you are absolutely in divine feminine energy. Um, I think that you're a healthy balance of divine men, uh, feminine and masculine. Um, I think you've learned... A lot about how to be more receptive though specifically um, this has been a big lesson for you and people find you to be very feminine and there's a lot of divine masculines out there that want you to be their divine feminine by the way you could have if you're a woman um, or you identify as a woman like you could have like a very um, feminine shape you could uh, have like very beautiful curves um, and people find that really irresistible. We have, I can tell you don't trust me. I want to change that. Man, this person really wants to come through and take this reading over. I keep getting urged to like flip it over. And now I'm kind of like, maybe I shouldn't. Because I feel like it's it's this person now trying to get me to do that. So, <laughs> um, but they, so this person that abandoned you, that hurt you, that, you know, you had a, a rough relationship with. They really want to come back in. They want to reconcile. They find you very irresistible. Um, so come and look inside of me. Watch me while I bloom. You only got one side of me. Here's something new. Watch me while I bloom by Haley Williams. So again, music coming through. You could be a musician or just really like music. You could communicate through music. You could be clear audience as well. Um, but if you are a musician, people really love the sound of your voice. They really like your artistic style within that. Um, if people have heard you sing before, they think that you have like a really sweet voice or just it's very beautiful. But so with this one coming through also... I mean, you have been inviting people like you, you're, I don't feel like you're trying to keep this blossoming a secret. If you ever were, I don't feel like you are now. I feel like you're okay with like people knowing, you know, what you went through, where you came from. Um, I feel like a lot of people did doubt you. They, they slept on you, right? They didn't see your worth. And now you're like, Hey, come, come watch Come watch me while I bloom. Here's something new for you. <laughs> um, and I think that that's lovely. Oh, here we go. I tell myself all the words he surely meant to say. I'll talk until the conversation doesn't stay on. Between the Lines by Sarah Bareilles. Um, so again, a breakup coming through. Yeah, there's somebody that didn't give you clarity that like was an ace of swords in the reverse moment. Um, and you had to fill in. They could have ghosted you. The, you had to fill in a lot of information on your side and this person regrets that they really want to come back in and I think you are kind of past that point to be honest and good for you pile too because you've got a lot of people that would just do anything to be your committed partner right and you deserve to be treated and respect and and loved like the way that you are learning how to love yourself right now. And I, I think you know that. And I'm proud of you. Honestly, I'm very proud of you. And spirit is coming through and is like, yes, yes, be proud. Because <laughs> they've been through it. Um, okay, so we're going to get some tarot messages now. And then we'll finish things out with the uh, 
letters, numbers, and charms today. So stay tuned for that. Oh, oh my gosh, no, no, they did not just do that. <laughs> the Ace of Swords in reverse coming out. Oh, wow. Okay. Your higher self and spirit are not playing around. <laughs> okay, so why do people find... Why do people find you so irresistible? We have the star coming out here. Oh, I love this so much. Okay. <laughs> okay. The five of wands in reverse coming out. So I'll bring this up closer so you can see it. These are beautiful cards. Um, highly recommend this deck. The pillar coming out. So this is, uh, I believe the pillar, let me double check myself. I think it's, ooh, I think it's the emperor. Um, but watch me be wrong. <laughs> like, watch me. Ah, dang it. Okay. The anchor, I always, I always do this. The pillar is empress energy, which we talked about. So it's fun that that came out. Um, okay. So, there we go. And some more. Okay, this one wants to come out. The Nine of Cups. Well, now I understand why it wants to come out. Okay, why do people find you so irresistible? Also, these cards are great because they shuffle so easily. Okay, the Eight of Wands coming out and the Nine of Swords. So, yeah, you make people really nervous. Like, really nervous to talk to you, um, just to be around you. Like, they feel like they have to up their game if they want to, like, try to be with you and talk to you. Um, people feel like they can't get at you. They can't really make you nervous. They can't knock you over. With the Conqueror of Wands, yeah, you're this Knight of Wands energy, right? Like, um, you have this very fiery nature to you. It's um, almost a little bombastic at times in a good way. Like people really find this entertaining to watch. They love this about you. More of the snake imagery coming through on this card, especially. Um, again, you've really transformed and you may have transformed out of just a pure conqueror of wands and like it's more negative in uh, like instances or, or connotations. Um, you know, you use this for good. I'm getting like Sagittarius energy here where, you know, you use this to help you expand and help you bring ideas and creativity and projects into the 3D. Um, what's underneath that? Conqueror of Swords. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Knight of Swords coming through. Like you not only do you have the creative capacity to do it, but you also are very intellectually um, gifted as well. So I'm going to set these off to the side and we're going to talk about what's on the table. Um, so again, with this nine of swords, yeah, people feel like, like you might have some haters, which you know what? Hate is love. <laughs> um, hate is love in like its most disillusioned form. I know that's weird, but like it, it, we hear it all the time. Like the opposite of love is not hate. It's indifference, right? You are, have haters out there and you have haters because they're jealous and envious and what people don't realize unfortunately is that the things that they see in you is a reflection of themselves right we got that swan card people are very jealous and envious of the things that you have going for you um they may not be really realizing that they have those same things in themselves and that they would just have to work the way that you did to get these things. You know, nobody can take away from you the fact that you worked your ass off, excuse me, French, to get where you are right now. I, it has not been an easy journey. You have been through these sleepless nights of the Nine of Swords card. You know, like you were plagued by intrusive thoughts at night, you know, feeling like you weren't good enough. And you are, and you deserve to feel that way, right? And I don't feel like you try to put anyone else down. If anything, I really do, much like uh, this message came through in Pile 1, I feel like, much like in Pile 1, you work so hard to, to lead others to that same love and acceptance that you found in yourself for themselves, you know? Um, I think you want people to have their Nine of Cups moment, you know? You want people to feel fulfilled within themselves um 
you know, to be giving themselves all the love that they gave to others. Like you show people how to truly step into and tap into that compassion and self-love that the Nine of Cups has here. Um, with the Empress, you know, yeah, people see you and they realize like you are, you are so powerful on your own. Like you have really created this, I always say this empire, right? Like, you know, you're an empress, like you created this empire alone. Um, you are this divine feminine energy. Um, but the thing is, is again, I get this sense that you're very balanced. You're not just an empress, you're an emperor. And people want you to be their empress. Like they really find this energy. I mean, who doesn't, right? Like when we see the empress energy, I feel like everybody finds that irresistible it's just like this is the epitome of divine feminine nature and yeah people look at you and they want your um they want your compassion they want your love they want the abundance and the luxury that you have like that you bring um and you have this because you're following your north star up here there's a yeah if you can hear that uh siren i feel like that was just confirmation for you but you know Again, you follow your North Star, your North Node, you may be following that. With this rose on this card, I feel like you are this beautiful, rare rose out there. And people really see that. You know, you're so deeply mysterious and multifaceted. You know, I feel like you're so joyful and, and cute and, and you have so many sides to you. Like you can be chaotic, you can be cute, you can be sexy, you can be gorgeous and beautiful and lovely. Like you are so many things wrapped up into one um, beautiful flower. And with this moon cycle on here, again, you could be very tied to the moon. You could have Cancerian placements, Taurus and Libra as well for, for the Empress coming out here. Um, but with the moon cycles coming through, again, getting that energy of maybe you like really do manifestation work or you're being called maybe to do that. Um, and that will help your manifestations as well because I think you're a very powerful manifester. And I think it's because you are in your your authenticity you have let go of inauthenticity in your life you have dropped that sword i just saw like a mic drop like you also like people find it really irresistible the way that you just like speak the truth um you're not afraid of that anymore you know it's not that you're like trying to hurt people's feelings but you're no longer in this people pleasing tendency of telling people what they want to hear all the time you know like you're gonna give people things straight up um, with this star coming out, yeah, like, first of all, people see you as having an Im immense amount of star power. Um, they do notice, like, people notice right away that you are spiritually protected, like, with these wings. Um, you could have, you could resonate with, like, angelic energy. People feel like you are an angel embodied in a, like, human form sometimes. Um, and people feel like, the universe just loves you and it just pours into you all of this creativity and all of this success with this fire energy coming out here. But like people do know that you have like a very active third eye. They could think you're very psychically gifted, but people also find you very unique pile too. They, they, um, again, they see you as this star and people know like that you have been through a lot and that you've had to heal through a lot. I think that you could be very, I do actually wonder if maybe you're very open about your journey. Um, and you really pour this light out onto people. Like you pour out this story and it pours light into others and hope into others that they can do this too. Like again, like I feel very much like you want other people's uh, journeys to take the same turn that yours did. You know, you want people to have their wish granted the way that you did, you know? Um, I think also people feel like you have, like, really pretty hands, for one thing. Like, you could have really beautiful hands and fingers. You could get your nails done and stuff. Um, but also, I'm getting... People really like when you, like, touch them. Um, like, you could have a very healing touch. Uh, and, yeah, people want to touch you. Um, okay, we're not going to go into that too much. You're a really great communicator. The Eight of Wands coming out here. Um, or, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. Um, for a second, I doubted myself. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking I was looking at the Eight of Swords, and I was like, oh, wait, never mind. Um, no, it says the Eight of Wands. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, 
yeah so that energy people have seen you grow from doubting yourself like i just did and really trusting yourself trusting that um Even if you don't have the answer, it will be revealed to you in time for one thing. Like, it will be communicated to you by spirit. And you will get the message that you're supposed to get. But with this, I'm also getting, you're a great communicator. And people want to communicate with you. There could be a lot of people, like, wanting to message you or messaging you right now. Like, people could be uh, wanting to talk to you often. Um, but also, there's just, like, a very... Uh, fun energy to you. I know I keep using that word, but there's just something very fun about you. There's something very um, lively. And you could have Aries in your chart and this ram head coming through. I just feel like you speak from such an authentic place. You do have such a good energy about you, Pile 2. We have Five of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, I think you really healed this inner conflict with yourself, this, this inner critic and doubt. Um, you know, you, the reason that maybe you, you aren't bothered by people hating on you anymore, and it's okay if you are, but like, maybe you've, you've gotten better with that energy is because I think like you were your own worst critic for a really long time, which, you know, I, I think a lot of us can say that, but I really think you were very harsh with yourself. And when you healed that, I feel like for you, everything changed. Like, you were very much in an energy of, uh, you know, loving your. You're very much in an energy of loving yourself. And you're like, yeah, if I can heal from that, if I can love myself and, and face my inner demons, then I can face anybody else, you know? Like, I, I was the meanest person to myself, you know? Um, we have the Four of Swords coming through. Yeah, people feel like there's such a peacefulness about you. Um, again, this this uh, clock coming through. People want some of your time pile too. And I feel like you are very discerning with these swords coming through as well. Like about who gets a piece of your time at this point. You don't just give that away for free anymore. With Justice in Reverse, um, you know, people who did you wrong, like the person that came through earlier, they're really regretting that. They feel like they played themselves with strength coming through because you had the strength to get through that situation. They may have left you thinking like, oh yeah, they'll come back to me because they don't have the strength to actually leave. But you did. You had the strength to pick yourself up, to get yourself through and love yourself have compassion, have forgiveness for them and for yourself. We have the sun coming through in the reverse. People feel like you are such a light and whenever you're gone they feel like they're immersed in darkness you know you are so successful pile two and you've really worked for that for yourself with the five of swords in reverse you have really eliminated this toxicity from your life you know like people who tried to dim your light you've cut them out you know it's and it's not in a way that's like combative it's in a way that is is very cold and precise we have the Conqueror of Cups. Yeah, like, because at the end of the day, you're going to choose. I see this Conqueror of Cups being yourself, like, giving you that cup of love. Like, you have learned how to give you that cup of love. And other people are surrounding you wanting to be your Conqueror of Cups. You know, your Knight, uh, Knight of Cups specifically in this deck. Um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of Prince Charmings, but you're, you know, you're this... Sovereign of Wands, and even though she's in reverse, which is the Queen of Wands, by the way, um, you are incredibly attractive. <laughs> so people are very attracted to you just based off of that alone. With uh, the Empress coming through and the Queen of Wands, I mean, yeah, you're mystical, you're magical. Um, again, you could have like Aries placements specifically coming through here, um, Leo as well. <sighs> You are incredibly discerning about who gets access to this at this point. Like, you are, you are not desperate to be with someone. That's what I'm getting from this. With the devil, yeah, I think people are very addicted to your energy. They find you irresistible in your sexuality and your sexual appeal. Um, yeah, people want to experience that with you with the three of wands. Yeah, in reverse. Um, 
you are very much in your receptive energy. You're like, you can come to me, but you got to come, you got to come correct. You know, six of swords coming out in the upright because you you choose yourself and you choose your peace first. And finally, with the seven of cups in reverse, you are, again, not desperate. Like, you know, you have options and you're not confused about that. You're not chasing anything anymore. Like, you're attracting things. You know, it's not that you don't put energy into the things that you feel resonate with you, but you're not just going to put energy into anyone or anything. You know, you have to feel called to do it. So those are the messages that I'm getting for you. We're going to get letters and numbers now, and then we're going to finish up with terms. So, all right. What letters and numbers would resonate with pile two? Oh, we got a lot. Um, so a lot of people could have picked this file. Or you just have a lot of suitors, I think. We have you coming out. Yeah, it's all about you is what I just heard. Um, we have W or an M if that resonates. Uh, yeah, I just saw um, like if we flip this. Um, like people just so nervous. Uh, we have I. We have another U, so double initials could be... Um, significant uh you could have double letters in your name or double like the same initial we have e we have another e <laughs> i just heard eek like they're scared <laughs> people are scared uh we have q we have p we have k we have l And we have D. Yeah, people think you. Oh, and we have B. <laughs> um, people feel like you have like D energy, but also like they want to give you that. Um, if you, yeah. Okay. Anyway, and then we also have O or zero. Uh, take whatever resonates here. Um, yeah, people want you to be like their bow. Okay, even though that's not how you would spell it for that connotation of the word. Um, yeah, they want you to be like their partner. <laughs> we have this number six. So yeah, the lovers, um, you know, unconditional love coming through. Uh, you could be born in June. You could be a, a Gemini or a Cancer born in June. Um, also, you could be born on the sixth of any day or a life path six. We have the number seven coming through here. You could be a life path seven. Uh, definitely very spiritual and people know this about you. Um you could be born in July, so you could be a Cancer or a Leo in July. Um, you could be born on the 7th of any month as well. Um, and also the Chariot coming through for you here. Um, but 67 could be a significant or 76. We have 5 coming through here, so number of change. Um, yeah, you're someone who brings a lot of change to people's lives. You've changed a lot yourself. Um, people really love this about you, really admire this about you, I'm hearing. Um, but you could be born in May. So Empress energy coming through again because of Taurus um, being a part of this, but also um, Gemini again. So you could have Gemini placements. You could be born on the fifth of any month as well. 75 or 57, 56, 65. Um, we have another six coming through. So six being very important here um, because I feel like people do love you. Like, and also you're very unconditionally loving, like of yourself and others. Um, and people find that irresistible. But we're going to go ahead and pull out some charms now. So I'm going to shake this box and it's going to get loud. So if you have headphones in, now would be the time to turn those down or take them out. So three, two, one. <laughs> So we've got the little bathhouse. Studio Ghibli could be important to you. I'm definitely getting like the childlike quality of that. Um, again, your inner child really shines through and I think people really love that. There's such an authentic joy to you. Um, but with no face coming out, you know, um, people could struggle with like 
some people could struggle to understand like who you are because you're so mysterious to some people which is funny because i feel like you're very expressive and open but like some people could feel like it's hard to get to know you at times and it's because you haven't invited them to your table like again you're very discerning right not everybody's invited to the feast that you provide as the empress with this bathhouse in the background you're someone who really takes care of yourself you don't need anyone to take care of you you are perfectly capable of doing that yourself with I am the hype, I mean, yeah, you are. And people know that and they want to hype you up. <laughs> um, but also, you could be uh, a DBZ fan as well. Um, yeah, people feel like you're kind of like royalty. <laughs> just, just saying. Uh, inspiration. Yeah, people find you very inspiring. Again, like they... They, uh, they want to be like you, but also people want to celebrate with you. They want to drink with you um, if you, you know, partake in libations. Um, <laughs> yeah, they want, but they want to they wanna party with you. You know, they want to have a good time. We have the little cowboy Katie. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you're not afraid to go after what you want. You know, you don't let things stand in your way. Like, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. You, you know, you shot down your demons. <laughs> um, cats could also resonate with you. Um, Queen of Wands usually has a cat on it, and this is giving me, like, some Leo energy again. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, it's cat energy in the way that, like, you know, people, <laughs> people feel like they have to, like, kind of earn your respect and love. Even though I actually, I feel like you're very unconditional about it. But I feel like people think that, you know? It's not something that you put into them. I'm not fast. Um, so I feel like people, a lot of people want to, <laughs> like... Like, they want to take their time to just, like, observe you. I Because I don't get the sense that you aren't fast. Like, I actually feel like you are very fast moving as a person. However, I do feel like you have started appreciating the, product, uh, the productivity of rest, right? Being in your receptive energy, the turtle coming through is water energy. Um, you know, being more empress-like in that way. You know, you are taking in all all that life has to offer all the beauty and and finer things right um but yeah people <laughs> people may be afraid to come in too quick with you <laughs> um this is more what i'm getting so that's what i have for you today pile two i hope that these messages resonated um and i hope that they made you feel good and they made you feel irresistible because you are i uh, know that you are incredibly lovable and that you are worthy always um, and if this video did resonate with you or this message resonated with you, I'd love if you would leave a like or comment, especially how it resonated with you specifically. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and until next time, have a great day or night. Bye. Right. welcome back pile number three if you chose this beautiful little citrine cluster it looks like this or you were drawn to the santa muerte tarot looks like this then this is going to be your reading congratulations <laughs> so we are going to do a quick energy check on you so that we can identify that this is the right pile for you um this should kind of be in alignment with how you see yourself or at least things that you know, I don't know, people have said about you and you know about it a little bit. Like it should feel familiar, okay? So if this doesn't feel familiar to you, go to pile one or two. They were different um, for sure. So there will be other messages there. You could also resonate with more than one today. You know, nothing wrong with that. You could be extra irresistible and be drawn to all three. <laughs> Um, so anyway, this is all about you and gassing you up. So that's, that's the intention today. So let's dive in. Um, so I'm really excited because this actually is, I really like this energy pile three. Um, yeah, I really, really dig this energy. Okay. So, um, first thing was that the impasse and perception felt like they just went together so seamlessly. So you're someone who, when, when life fancy lemons, um, <laughs> you could be very funny. <laughs> you know, I'm like a very dark sense of humor. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> ah, you could be really into like old vines and stuff um, or TikTok as well. But um, anyway, yeah, if you liked old vines, like the one I just uh, quoted, a thumbs up for you. All the thumbs. <laughs> Um, all two of them that are here right now. There are paws here as well. But anyway, okay, 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 guys. Um, <laughs> so you are not afraid of, you are un undaunted by impasses that have happened to you in your life. Um, 2.12 just came across the clock or like the timer. So um, the number two or 12 could be very significant to you. Um but anyway, that just felt significant for some reason. Um, but yeah, you are not someone who is afraid of these impasses. You are not uh, afraid of detours in life. You understand that through these detours, you have had a change of perception in yourself and the world around you. You have found abundance within this, right? Like, because the universe put these obstacles in place, it allowed for you to have even greater things than you had ever imagined, right? Like she's in this magical garden all of a sudden with, you know, like I'm just imagining like you are walking up and there's some obstacle in your way. There's this, you know, it's supposed to be an angel. There's an archangel like, no, no, no. <laughs> and then you end up at this door and you open it and oh my gosh, there's all of this beauty hidden within that you never would have gotten to if there hadn't been the impasse right? Um, you just, you, you lead with your heart. You know, you, you really listen to your emotions. You're very tapped into how you feel. Um, but with you coming through as the majestic moose as well, it's, it's cool. I think you're like a really good, um, balance of feminine and masculine just because the moose is supposed to be, uh, uh, the paternal figure. It's the fraternal figure. So the fatherly figure, um, so I think that you have a good balance of feminine and masculine energy here. And you have the bravery to, uh, again, to move through these obstacles. You have the grit and the durability as well. Um, you know, you you are standing in your own power and people definitely can see that. And you may be very much feeling that way too. Like you could be an earth sign specifically. Um, so you could be Capricorn, Taurus or uh, Virgo with the moose. Um, but also, okay, with Siren coming through, you could have water placements. I'm just getting that from like the mermaid tail. Um, so Capri or Capricorn, maybe you're Capricorn. <laughs> but uh, with the Siren coming through, uh, I'm getting water placements. So Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancerian. Um, anyway, you are incredibly uh, sensual in nature and people people see that in you but also you you could really be following what feels good to you you know um and you could be a bit outside of the norm like i don't know maybe you dress in a way that is is different than most people or you're just like expressive in a way that other people aren't typically you know like you're interested in things that are different um you yourself are just, you're just very different, but it's because you're following your inner calling, right? You're following this, the song of the siren. Uh, you could be a musician as well, just with the siren coming through. You could have a very lovely voice. Like, even if it's just your speaking voice is very beautiful, it draws people in. Um, but people find you very seductive. Uh, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you just like flow really effortlessly. I'm definitely getting Pisces vibes from this. So you could have Pisces in your chart somewhere. Um, but you know, you really know how to flow with the energy of the universe with this purple and pink energy. I'm getting third eye and crown chakra here now. Um, but uh, some people could look at you as you could have been accused of being like a homewrecker or um, like people could feel like you're wicked because you know you i don't know you're interested in like the taboo things you know and and you could be very open about that the way that you dress could be considered promiscuous or or what have you but it's like no you're just finding what feels good to you and um 
you know, I, I think people just try to put too many labels on you. Um, but for all of that, you know, you have 24 over here. 24 could be significant for you. You could be 24. Um, we also have Libra here. So again, beauty coming through as a Venusian sign coming through. Um, but with strawberry and agreement here, you're very sweet and you are very agreeable. You know, I don't think that you try to rock the boat, so to speak, haha, <laughs> with the siren. Um, like, I feel like you're constantly looking for justice for others. Um, you know, you're, you're trying to keep the peace is what I'm hearing with people as much as you can, you know, without sacrificing yourself, of course, but you are trying to find an agreement compromise with people. We have grounding coming through here with the number five. So yeah, I think you're unafraid of this number five. You, you understand that the one constant in life is to change, or you're really starting to understand that. And you've grounded yourself through that. You could, um, you could have gotten into tarot recently, or you could be a tarot reader. Um, but I feel like you've really balanced uh, yourself out and have balanced out these fears of the unknown and found that in traversing into the unknown, we often find our greatest joys, right? Like when we have to suddenly go off the beaten path, we can sometimes stumble across our greatest abundance. Um, also, the sign Virgo could be significant. Uh, we definitely have gotten that twice now with the moose coming through, but you could have Virgo pretty significantly in your chart, you know, which is a sign that is um, very... Well, for one thing, it's the exact opposite of Pisces, which I was getting from the Siren card. So again, that balancing of masculine and feminine energy or... Uh, well, for them, it's both feminine, but um, but no, but the balancing of opposing energies, right? Which for me is masculine and feminine. But with Virgo, they're also very good at at grounding, right? At, um, you know, where, where Pisces is very dreamy, um, very creative. Virgo is about the practical things. It's about pragmatism, being an earth sign, right? So bringing things into the 3D. So you could really be taking your creativity and creating something beautiful with that right now. Um, also, you could be really creating good um, structure and uh, rituals or routines for yourself with um, this, you know, potato and Virgo card coming through. Um, so with passion, I think, yeah, this, you do have a lot of passion in what you do. And you may have recently found a new passion for something that you didn't expect yourself to really love, or, um, you know, you, you just have a lot of conviction when you talk is what I'm actually kind of feeling as well. Like there's something about you that is, it inspires passion in others. Um, yeah, people also just, yeah, they, Again, I ha, I'm getting that that uh, that message for somebody. So this is definitely for someone specific that people have felt like your passion has led to like unsavory behavior. Screw that. Screw that. You know, like again, you do you. Like, don't even worry about this stuff. But yeah, with passion, also I'm getting people really like. Um, People really like you in red. If you are someone who wears makeup, people like when you wear red lipstick. Just saying, they find that very sexy. So so that's what I'm getting as far as the energy check. If that sounds anything like your energy, um, welcome to your pile. If it doesn't, you can always check another pile, um, like I said before. So there's no shame in that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get some cards now. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Spontaneous coming out like rapid fire from the deck. So this is what people find irresistible about you. Prosperity coming through as well. So yeah, people do feel like you're a very abundant person. People find the the way that you're able to so easily call in wealth, especially material wealth to yourself, like they find that irresistible. So you might want to be careful of people like wanting to uh, 
monopolize a bit on you. But with spontaneous, people really enjoy that passionate, fiery, spontaneous nature that you have at times. It could be very surprising because you could be someone who is very grounded in your earthy energy, right? But then you just get these bouts of being super spontaneous, like you'll make like a split decision on something and they're just like, whoa, where did that come from? I'm going to set your little stone over here for now. So we're going to go ahead and get some more cards. But with this wolf also on the spontaneous card, people like really want to follow your call. Like they feel called to you, right? Um, you know, they want to follow your lead, I'm hearing. It's too many. What do people find irresistible about you? Okay, so we have balsamic mood. Uh, moon, things come and go, surrender to the universe. Exactly, it's that understanding that there will be obstacles that there will be detours along you know the the road and journey of this lifetime and that you have to go with the flow you have to surrender and i think you are in that state of surrender and people have seen that and like your ability to just accept things as they are is so incredibly attractive people really love this about you also people think you have a really nice butt um <laughs> I just saw that and I was like, hello. Um, yeah, they, they like your figure. Um, if you work out, people like watching you do that. Um, but also, no matter what you do, like no matter how you move your body, no matter uh, what body type you're in, like people find you very luscious, I just heard. Creator, water. So water energy coming through now. This is interesting. So um, we were getting that heart space and emotions, right? People think... Feel that you are very emotional, very sensitive to emotions and energies within people. And they really enjoy that. And like when you create whatever it is that you create in this life, you know, whether it's, um, you know, uh, an Instagram post, uh, a TikTok or, or a song, a painting, um, a tarot reading, you know, a, a meal, they feel like there's so much love within that. They can feel feel your emotions and people love the way that you make them feel through your art right like people feel like you're so incredibly creative and artistic um okay here we go engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so somebody could be in a relationship that is about to congratulations you might be about to sorry to spoil it but you could be about to be getting engaged or you could have just gotten engaged um you could just have a lot of people that really want to take things to the next level it doesn't have to be engagement you know it could literally be like people want to date you right you know people want to start talking to you they want to get the ball rolling so that they can you know make this big of a move someday on you because you're like your wifey husband you know material you know your your spouse material Oof. Okay. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this is interesting because I feel like this is more your energy. Like you could be very focused on yourself, not that you're selfish, but that you are just focused on loving yourself. And so you could be really turning down a lot of suitors. Like I'm seeing all these people are just like pining endlessly after you. And, you know, people could be very nervous to come towards you because it's like you're in a different kind of energy right now it's not one that's like really making space for this kind of thing and people can feel that um but i also feel like people are starting to realize that you know what you value in a partner is different than what might be traditionally shown or what actually you know what People may assume because of the way that you look and because of the way, because I'm getting somebody that's very sultry, you're very seductive. I'm getting like Jessica Rabbit vibes. If you're a feminine, if you're a masculine, like I'm getting like, <laughs> you're just like very dreamy. Like, um, I don't know. There's just something like super, super dreamy about you with like your eyes and stuff. Like uh, very like Dean Martin, not Dean Martin, what? <laughs> James Dean. <laughs> Dean Martin. You know, that's a different kind of dreamy. <laughs> it's not bad, but like just different than what I, I was envisioning in my head. Um, sorry. 
<laughs> I do think you're really good at not taking yourself too seriously, by the way, which I think people really enjoy. But what I was going to say, I get this very sultry vibe from you, very dreamy. Um, you know, you're a, a bit of a heartbreaker, right? A heartthrob. And because people view you this way or they look at you and they see this image, they have this idea in their head that you are... For one thing, I think you're a perfectionist because all of a sudden that came out in me. I was like, oh, I got to straighten up and oh, no, nope, that's okay. <laughs> um, so anyway, sorry. Uh, people though may have this very specific image of you and you totally don't fit that at all actually like you are so opposing to it and it can really shock people but they find it very irresistible right so they thought like oh i can come at you in like f boy f girl energy and i can i can be with you right and then you're like no 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 that's not what i'm attracted to i want something real i want something emotional like i want something very connected i want something that is going to lead to a long term engagement you know um and people are shocked by this, you know, but they like it. Um, <laughs> they want to change your mind. Okay, so I'm going to take these two off the top. Okay. Okay, let's see. So we got trust the seasons, embracing change cycles of life, transition and growth. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you have trust in yourself and being able to trust your intuition and your heart space specifically, right? Like you trust what you feel at times, like, or not even at times. I think you trust what you feel. You believe your intuition, you trust your gut. Um, and you do embrace change for sure. Like you've grown so much and people have really seen that and they they love this about you, but they're also intimidated about this as well because the people in your life have seen you like, I don't know why I just got this, but they've seen you like walk away from things that no longer serve you, that no longer resonate with you because you're so tapped into your heart space. When something doesn't resonate with your heart space anymore, you're not scared to change and walk away and take the detour, you know, like you're ready for that. We have the bud, potential promise, it's about to happen, keep going. Yeah, like, you've stepped into your fullest potential, or you've begun to do that, and people see you really budding and blossoming, and they find that irresistible, right? Like, you know, the fact that you did have the the grit, the determination, and tenacity to keep going, um, even after obstacles and roadblocks came up. You believed in yourself. You believed and trusted in the universe, in your intuition. Like you felt guided and you were like, you know what? I'm, I don't care what other people try to tell me. I don't care like that people try to say like, I, I'm not going to amount to anything or I, I'm not going to be able to do the thing that I want. Like I'm going to do me and I'm going to believe in myself. People find this confidence in you to be very alluring. Uh, some people want to knock you down. <laughs> I just got that that came through heavily. Like someone came through and did like a scoff and I did not like that. So we're going to, uh, hello, like release that energy that, that needs to go. We're, I, I rebuke that. <laughs> I don't like that. Um, okay. So, Okay, we have, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. Yeah, and I think you have done that. I think you may have been prone to overthinking in the past. You know, you may have been someone who really um, had like a lot of racing thoughts, um, who questioned, you know, is it okay for me to take this detour? Like, should I just keep persevering? Um, but I think you are very discerning you you've learned true what it means to like truly be discerning and truly trust your intuition to know when to stay on the path and when to move to a different one um but this also is the universe coming through and telling you you're on the right path um but as far as as people go in finding you irresistible for this you know 
because you face your true north, you lead others to do the same. And so people find that energy really irresistible. That's come through a few times today. I'm really proud of all the people watching this video. Like, <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of people stepping into their authenticity and really leading by example. And I think that's lovely. So yeah. Um, okay, we're gonna get some more cards now. So we've got these little runic cards here. Okay, we're going to take all three. Um, so what do people find irresistible about you? Okay, yeah, seahorse coming through. So water energy coming through. People, again, um, I'm getting like fertility with this, which makes me think of the empress. Uh, so you could be very much in your empress energy, very much in your divine feminine energy. Like that's what you could be presenting. Definitely with the siren card coming through, it just gives me very feminine vibes. You don't have to be... Uh, a femme to be watching this uh, 2222 2222 just came across the timer so uh, there are a lot of people that want to be in divine union with you like they want to be your divine counterpart um, with this seahorse it always makes me think of you know seahorses made for life but also like um, people want like a non-traditional relationship with you like for one thing I didn't talk about this but like I mean people look at you and they think you're like a femme fatale a little bit like with uh, the siren card right and I feel like you have a very, if you're, you are indeed like a feminine, you, even if you're masculine, like you have like a very non-traditional approach to relationships and to life in general at this point, especially in your life. And so, you know, like people want to take that same approach with you. Cause I'm thinking about the fact that seahorse is like the masculine, like the male actually carries the baby and like is pregnant and has the child. So like, if you're a feminine, like there are men around you that that want to like i feel like a lot of like uh men like male identifying people if like you're attracted to them they want to be like almost like your divine feminine a little bit like they want to do like the things that would be considered more feminine with you um yeah, I don't know. That's just like a thing that's coming through. Um, but we also have this little black cat coming through. This is making me think of Queen of Wands for some reason. So like, yeah, I think you're a very creative person. Uh, you're very energetic and vivacious. You're very, very, very attractive, like very beautiful, very mystical and tapped into um, the divine, right? Tapped into spirituality, into spirit specifically, like you have a, a connection with the divine. Um and you're just very, very intuitive, you know, like you're not afraid of the unknown with the moon behind the cat. You could have a black cat, by the way, <laughs> if that resonates with you. We also have the swan coming through. Um, so you're very graceful. You could be a dancer. People could really like the way that you move. Um, but I'm also thinking about like with the swan specifically, I'm thinking about the swan card in the animal spirit deck and the wild unknown deck. And in that card, there is the swan that is looking at the swan in the, the lake. Um, and that's what I always get with this card. It just makes me think of that. Um, you know, you have, you have been unafraid to change and look in the mirror in order to change, right? Like you are not afraid to look at your shadow self and realize what needs to, to change, you know, what needs to truly be um, brought to the surface and healed, you know? Like, I think you are very healing. I think you know how to heal yourself, especially. And through that, I feel like you can help heal others. And people find that um, incredibly appealing. Like you're, uh, with this X, I'm thinking of like the number 10, even though it's supposed to be a rune. It makes me think of the number, uh, like the Roman numeral 10. And that makes me think of change specifically. And I think you bring a lot of change to people's lives, much needed change. Um, you show people the unknown sides of themselves. You know, you, you help them address their shadow selves as well in a safe way. And people really value this in you, Pile uh, 3. Okay, let's see. Um, we're going to grab a few more if I can find the decks that I'm looking for. Sorry. <laughs> okay. What do people find here? Oh, okay. So we got four here and we're going to take all of them. So, 
All right. So we have last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. Yeah, I think you help people. So Aries could be specifically um, for someone like you could have Aries in your chart, but also last quarter moon in Aries. You could. You're really good at working through your own feelings, right? I'm getting like sacral chakra, like I'm thinking about emotions right now. Um, but you're also so adept at helping other people work through their own feelings and people love this about you. Like you really make people feel their feelings. You, you really do. And like you inspire people to, um, to feel to have the courage and the strength to feel because you know we live in a society where we're told like feelings are bad still a lot of the time and it's like that's not what you subscribe to and and you really help people out of that energy we have new moon and leo shine so you could have leo in your chart lots of fire energy coming through now like you do have this fiery nature i was getting queen of wands as well with that little black cat um i do think you're the sun in so many people's life you know like so many lives uh like so so many people look at you and um the people that have tried to dim your shine like they can't they cannot do that pile three like you just have such an effervescence to you you have such a um such a beautiful soul and no matter who has tried to you know stampede over that they have been unable to fully eclipse that like you will still shine through and um with these daisies, I do feel like a lot of people like really look up to you and they really um because I'm thinking about like daisies like like or sunflowers, not daisies, but uh flower or sunflowers like uh they they get attracted to the sunlight and their their little blooms will actually point up, right? And so I think there are so many people who look up to you and they want to follow your lead, you know, like a lot of people find you irresistible in the way that they want to just be your friend. They just want to be immersed in your energy and your light. We have last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. So Taurian energy coming through now. You could be uh, a Taurus or have Taurus energy. Um, but I do think, you know, because you have found a sense of pride in yourself, right? And the things that you have accomplished, the things that you do, you found courage and strength to be confident in yourself truly. It inspires other to, others to be proud of themselves. And I think that your pride in others means the world to them. Like when you tell someone you're proud of them, like it it hits different. Like it resonates on a deep, deep level for them. Um, first quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe. You do. You absolutely do. You have learned how to trust the universe and people have seen that. Like you have started trusting your intuition. I think that people find you incredibly unique in this aspect. They they just they want to be able to trust the way that you do. And I think that you're actually a very trustworthy person. People find that very beautiful and alluring about you as well. You know, like again, people have this misconception of you that you are like this this heartbreaker, this person that is going to hurt them or take from them you know, romantically, and you end up being somebody that they can, they can trust entirely, implicitly, I'm hearing. Um, that's something that is very alluring about you, Pile 3. Like, you are different. What do people find irresistible about Pile 3? <laughs> okay. So we have, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm hitting the table, the book and the rumor in reverse. So again, you dismantle the rumors very gracefully about yourself. Like, I don't feel like you try to, um, I'm sorry, I keep kicking the table. <laughs> I don't feel like you go out of your way to try to um 
I don't know, save face or be like, no, that's not me. Like you, you're like, you know what? I'll show you through my actions that that's not who I am. And you do. Um, you're also very smart. Like people find this incredibly alluring. They like having conversations with you because you have so much like wit. You have, um, so much to say, so many new things to teach people. Um, you could be a teacher literally, but, um, also you could be a writer. You're very good at at written communication and just communication in general. Gemini vibes coming through heavy with this card. Um, let's get one more. How do people see? Okay. We have the lizard coming through. Yeah, so like people feel like, again, you are very, very sensitive. Uh, 222 just came across the timer again. Um, I had to restart the video something weird happened so we're at a different time thing than we were before but two 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 just came through so again that divine union card coming through you have a lot of people that want that with you um because they love how sensitive you are pile three you have learned how to make this work for you you know you don't let your sensitivity take from you anymore you know you um you're very creative and you have the ability to do so many things to be good at so many different things right you you have all of these like changing colors but i'm seeing it less as like i do think you can be a chameleon and you can fit in with uh like a large amount of people but i think more than that i think that you're just really good really capable at doing a lot of different things and people feel like you're just incredibly talented like they they find this irresistible. Like it's like three, three, three just came across. You um you have Empress energy big time coming through. Like you are so fertile in the way that you create. Like you're constantly birthing new ideas and projects and uh, you know, different um artistic endeavors. Uh you, yeah, you've just got so much going for you. People love this. So we've got just a few more here. Ah. This is a little bit harder for me to shuffle. I will I will say. What do people find? Okay. We're going to grab some more. Okay. And just a few more here. Okay. So more of that Libra energy coming through, Sun and Libra coming through here. Um, you could have a Sun and Libra. I was definitely getting some air energy from you, but people just feel like you're very fair. You're very balanced. I'm seeing the Justice card in my mind. 444 just came across. You have like a really good foundation um, of... You have a really good foundation in life, like you, you're you very grounded, um, but you also have a good idea of like what's uh, right and wrong, at least like on your terms, right? And uh, like a strong moral compass, strong ethics as well coming through. Um, people really love this about you. I really just want sex. Is that okay? Well, um, yeah, it's not okay with you, actually. That, that was the energy that was coming out before, right? Like it's like, no. Um, I'm not actually okay with that. Sorry. Like I need substance. Self-sabotage. You may have been prone to self-sabotage in the past and you may help people out of their tendency to self-sabotage because you have helped yourself out of that energy. Fluorite coming through. Yeah. More creative energy coming through here. Um, you know, you might want to work with the stone fluorite, but with this blue coming through as well, I'm getting very much like your throat chakra. You have the ability to like tell stories in a way that is very creative, right? Like I I'm just getting that. Um, we have pink tourmaline. So you are very protective of yourself and of others, like the people that you love and people admire this about you. We have tourmaline on the back. Yeah, like double tourmaline here. Like you, you're someone who is very, very protective. Um, you could be like Scorpio or Cancer that's coming through. I dream about your lips. Yeah, people, <laughs> they think about you a lot at night when they're alone. You're already here, so you may as well spend the night. Yeah, exactly. They they think about you when they're alone at night and they want 
they they just they look at your pictures and they want to be with you guarded you could be very guarded against certain energies specifically energies like that like you're not you're not here to do that anymore mars and cancer because you're someone who intimacy equates to emotion and emotional connection you need that in order to be um connected with somebody especially physically. What you seek is seeking you too. You truly subscribe to this and people see that about you and they find that irresistible, right? Like you naturally draw in people to you. Your dream is closer than you think. Yeah. I mean, so this is definitely for you specifically, Pile 3. If you are pursuing your dream right now, which I definitely feel heavily that you are, please know that your dream is right around the corner like your dream life is coming if you're not already living it it's coming to you we have moon and libra now yeah like lots of libra energy you're very balanced pile three very balanced and people love this about you seductive yep oh yeah people find you incredibly seductive they think you're so beautiful you know with libra coming through um you could have really beautiful skin specifically libra rolls over the skin um also you could be very symmetrical um, because Libra is all about balance. You could have very symmetrical features. I'm seeing somebody who has like like um, very full and symmetrical lips, like a very symmetrical face, very pretty cheekbones or a jawline. We have Venus and Aquarius. Um, yeah, like you are somebody who is very mentally stimulating for people. Like you're very intellectual. Um, with Venus and Aquarius, like you are very different right? You are very innovative and you have different ideas about connection than what people initially thought. And you are somebody who needs that emotional connection and that mental connection in order to make that physical one. We have warrior coming through. Yeah, you advocate for yourself and others. You've really fought for um, the things in your life. We have, far, how far do I have to go to get to you? Many the miles, but send me the miles and I'll be happy to follow you, love. Many the miles by Sarah Bareilles. So, yeah, people would go far distances to be with you. Like there could be somebody like in a long distance relationship with you right now, um, or people would be willing to do that to be with you because to be with you is happiness to them. That's what I'm getting. Like people, you make people incredibly happy to be around. We have January coming through. January could be significant for somebody. You could be born in January. Um, but also like you could have just come out of like a wintry period in your life, you know, where you felt like there was obstacle after obstacle and now it feels like you're blossoming into spring. Um, you know, pride did come through. I believe it came through on them. Yeah. Like show me how to be proud with the uh, moose card. You know, you could have a sense of pride in yourself, but you don't let pride overtake you. You know, you've learned how to balance that in yourself. We have arrogant. Yeah. Some of these haters come through and they like try to say that you are arrogant, um, that you're full of yourself, that you think that you're, you know, oh yeah, they think that they're hot shit. They think they're beautiful. Excuse my French, but like, you're not, you're confident and there's a difference. And I'm proud of you pile three, because I know that that takes a lot. Mercury and Capricorn, you could have Mercury and Capricorn. Um, but also the way that you speak is very honest and blunt in a way that, People don't always expect um, from you because you have such a, you know, balanced and, and lovely, gentle nature, I would say. But you can be very blunt when you need to be, right? Like, you're very honest, very truthful. We have, you, you have touched my soul. Yeah, like, you do. And it's because you lead with your heart space, Pile 3. Like, with this green coming through, this heart chakra coming through, echoing that perception. You change people's perception on life, on themselves. You really touch people. We have, will you leave like the others? I wouldn't even blame you. I think, you know, you could have been scared of people leaving you before, or, you know, people could be very scared of you, you leaving them behind. Um, but I feel like you've really healed this for yourself. And I feel like you teach people that they can heal that for themselves. And that's huge, Pile 3. As huge. So that's what I'm getting as far as why people find you irresistible in the message cards and oracle cards. So we're going to grab the tarot and then we'll finish things out with letters, numbers, and charms. But I hope this has been resonating for you so far or at least making you feel good, if nothing else. And remember, there are other piles if you feel so called to look elsewhere. So. What do people find? 
irresistible about my pile threes. We have the two of pentacles. That's lovely. We have the King of Pentacles, Earth energy coming out strong in this. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. The Five of Cups in reverse. The Four of Swords upright. and death in the reverse all right and then on the back of the deck we have the seven of pentacles upright coming through for you so we're going to set that off to the side um okay so let's dive right into it so okay what i find interesting is that the two of pentacles typically would be all about um you know, like juggling is what I usually get from this. Um, but with you, I mean, it also is adaptability, finding your priorities. And I think that you are, you're a good example of somebody who does know how to, I would say balance, right? Like you're balancing what we talked about earlier, your masculine and feminine energies, you give credence to both. And you've really transformed in that way. You know, you may have been more heavily divine masculine or divine feminine before. You know, you may have been in more of a go-getter energy or more of a receptive energy. And people have seen you really blossom and flourish, you know, into this person that is very balanced, who does know how to prioritize in a more healthy and balanced way. And you bring balance to a lot of other people's lives. And they get very, very addicted to that. Like, they they find that irresistible um, because a lot of people, they, they crave that. They crave that stability. And I think you really give that to them, especially because King of Pentacles is right next to this. You know, people feel like you are a treasure. People get really greedy with your energy. Um, like they they want to, again, like you could be very wealthy. You could have built up a lot of material wealth for yourself or just you could feel very com comfortable. Like you have a comfortable nest egg. And some people could really want to prey on that. Um, so be very careful, you know, um, just extra careful because you, I see with the seven of pentacles, you've worked really hard for that. Um, and yeah, people could want to like steal that from you a little bit, but I feel like people want to steal you away, honestly, like more than anything, like they find you so irresistible. They find you to be such a treasure that they want to just take you away. They want to take you off the market with the six of pentacles in reverse, you know, people see you really giving to yourself after a period of maybe over giving to others. Um, you know, you, you may have really struggled with that, with this death in reverse on the bottom here. Um, but you were able to, again, go through that impasse in yourself and redirect yourself onto a new path where you do love yourself and you do not allow for relationships that are un, like not reciprocal to be a part of your life anymore. Like you will put those to rest right? Like, and, and people do love this about you. Like it's scary for them, but they love this. Like, because it, it does force them to act in accordance with what you want, right? Like, it's not that you're not going to give to them. It's that, look, I'm not going to like over give anymore. You know, I'm not going to like give to you just because I have the capacity to do so. You know, I, I've learned the importance of, of resting of my own energy, right? Like, you know, you, you may have been a workaholic in the past and you have finally come into this understanding that it is important for you to take rest when you need to. And that is just as productive. That's come through a lot in the past couple of readings that I've done. Um, you know, you're not afraid of it anymore. You've, you've released that fear. Um, and then with the five of cups in reverse, I feel like, you know, you...
have really come into emotional equilibrium within yourself, like with this balance being right over it, you know, you, you may have been uh, a bit melancholic in the past, like you could have been prone to pessimism or bouts of depression even, and, and, um, you know, you could have sought the help that you needed for that specifically, but also you could have, um, you know, if it was more of, uh, less like a clinical diagnosis and we're more just talking about like pessimism or melancholy, um, you could have really balanced that out in yourself, you know, and realized that there was so much for you to be grateful for. And I feel like that is the energy that you're in right now. You have really just balanced out those emotions specifically with the eight of cups in reverse. Yeah. You walked away from that part of yourself. You know, you walked away from and stopped holding on to things that weren't really serving you anymore with the chariot in reverse. Yeah. You stopped putting energy into that part, you know, and, and people, people see that they can feel that energetically with the nine of swords um, or no, yeah. I always get so confused. Yes, the nine of swords. Like, sorry, the, just, yeah, I get confused by these cards the way that the six and the nine, it flips in my head. Um, anyway, so yes, with the nine of swords, you faced your fears, you faced your anxieties, and people find this really admirable because, like, especially the people that are closest to you, they know how difficult this was for you. Like I'm seeing this person as like being imprisoned with their thoughts and it's just like, there's so much like coming in and like closing in on them. And it's just, it's, it's really hard to, um, get through that, to think through that, right? Like you could have been so mentally discombobulated, you know, like in your cerebral state, um, like in your, your, uh, thinking mind could have been quite the quite the little maze for a while um but with the nine of wands in reverse i think that you know you you did face the last obstacle for yourself and you are really on that precipice of um of that dream that we saw right like with the four of wands exactly you are coming into like true abundance and happiness and i'm telling you people can feel this and they don't know why they don't understand why but they can feel it and they they want it they want it they want to be a part of the dream and you are being told to be very careful about who you share this with with this nine of pentacles in reverse with this king of wands in reverse enlist the people that can help you and leave the rest behind like i don't mean to be so cutthroat here but like you are an emperor and you have to be careful about who you let into your empire you know because there are people that yeah exactly five of pentacles they want to sabotage like i don't usually tap into this kind of energy but like just be very careful just be very mindful um You've worked really hard to get where you are. Don't let somebody take you off course. Don't let somebody get you imbalanced with this temperance card, okay? This five of swords, yeah, there could be conflict. There Again, those people that don't, that, yeah, they just have this like idea of who you are in their head and they don't really like it and they want to come in and mess things up and I don't like that. But people do find you irresistible, pile three though. Like that is a thing. Okay, like there are people that are rooting for you and that that really care about you, that really love you. So we're gonna get uh, letters, numbers, and charms now. What letters, numbers, and charms will resonate for pile three? Okay. So we have the letter K. So this could be your initial or somebody else's initials that you know that you're thinking about we have h this could spell out words as well we have another h so double initials or letters in your name could be a thing uh we have c <clears throat> we have g we have y kentucky could be significant for someone 
Um, that's a number, that's a number. We have the letter R coming through. We have P. Yeah, I was just actually about to say, I don't know why, but I'm seeing RPG and then P came out. So that's funny. Um, R coming out again. So yeah, double letters or double initials. And we have V coming through as well. So yeah, people feel like you are very, you're going to be very victorious in your life. But also like RV could be, so like you could, maybe you're like into camping or you could be thinking about wanting to go camping somewhere. And I feel like this is the universe saying like, yes, you should do that. Um, but the number one is coming out. People feel like you are number one at a lot of things that you do. Like you're very, very talented, but you could be a life path one. Um, you could be an Aries. I'm getting Aries energy for sure. You're definitely like a leader. You're a visionary leader. Uh, that King of Wands energy coming through again. Um, but yeah, you could be born in January. We got January before, so January could be significant for you. Uh, you could be born on the first of any month as well. We have the number eight. You could be a life path eight. You could be born in August um, or on the eighth of any month. Um, you're somebody who is very transformative, right? I'm thinking uh, Scorpio energy as well with the eighth house here. Um, and you're very abundant, right? Like you have so much abundance. Life path eight for sure coming through. We have the number three, the life path three. Um, very creative and I'm getting empress energy here again. Like we got the emperor. I think you also embody the empress here. But you could be born in March. Uh, March could be very significant for you as I'm uploading this. Um, you could be born on the third of any month. And yeah, you could be uh, either, what is it, Aries or Pisces for March. So... Also, the number 83 could be significant. The number 18, the moon card, kind of coming to my mind now. Again, you're not afraid of the unknown. And people are afraid of how much is unknown with you. You are very mysterious to people. 31 could be significant significant for somebody. 13, um, death card coming out. Yeah, you, you could have just recently gone through a major transformation in your life. Uh, 38 could be significant for somebody. That age could be significant. Um, 83 as well or 81. I don't know if I said that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get charms now. So letters or letters and numbers are on the table. That's that's okay. Um, but now we're going to get some charms. <laughs> okay. So this box is going to get loud. Um, if you have headphones in, now would be the time to take those out or turn them down. So three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> so we have no ghosting here. <laughs> so you could be um <laughs> you could be a DBZ fan. Um but you could be really against ghosting. Like maybe that was something that you used to do to people and now you've like really grown out of that or you could be really against people ghosting you like you're just like no, like I don't accept that behavior anymore from people. I will just straight up like I will walk away. You know, like no, um, like I'm not giving you another chance after that. Like if people try to come in, we have, I have an aura of sensuality and confidence. Yeah. I mean, this is the siren coming through again. You are someone who you're unafraid of your sexuality and your confidence in that now, like, or you're stepping into a time where you are going to feel okay with that because you understand that that's where your emotion lives. That's where your creative power comes from as well. Like you're really following what feels good for you. And there's nothing to be afraid or ashamed of in that. And it's wrong for people to be shaming you. I don't like that. We have always coming through. You could be a Harry Potter fan. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you are very misunderstood. You're very, very much a Snape character, right? Like, uh, people feel like you're very enigmatic, like you're just very different. Um, and either you're like, you know, people really, really like you or they really, really don't. Like that's, it's very polarizing. Um, but also the people that do really love you feel like they will always love you. Like they have very unconditional love for you. We have hate your job try astral projection. <laughs> um, yeah, you could have very intense dreams. People could dream about you a lot. You could be, um, you could believe in astral projection. You could practice it. Um, but yeah, I think that people dream about you a lot, like in a 
physical sense and also like in a like a in the way that you would think of where it's like they're sleeping and they're dreaming about you but also you know you you are people's dream you know so uh we also have elisa from gargoyles coming out i love when she comes out she's great uh you could be a gargoyles fan but also you are someone who yeah you advocate for the good guys you advocate for the people that you believe in for the causes that you believe in you are also somebody who is strong and will stand up for yourself at this point like you're not you're not afraid of that um and people love that about you yeah people feel very safe with you that's what i'm hearing so that's what i'm getting as far as messages for you today pile three that's where i'm gonna leave you i hope that this message uh did resonate with you in some way if it did please give me a thumbs up that would be great um and i would love it if you would comment and tell me what it is that did resonate with you um so that i can can hear where things where the messages were hitting for people um and if you want to see more content like this please hit the subscription bell um yeah i would i would love that <laughs> and uh i just really appreciate though you staying and watching this video it means the absolute world to me um i hope that you have a great rest of your day or night and until next time bye